Oi, right, right. how are we all doing? I think I might have just pressed the off button. <laughs> so here we go. Boom, hey, everybody. <laughs> so anyway, that kind of killed that a bit soon, didn't it? Um, I think I might have accidentally pressed the button. I just turned it around like this and I went boom, like that. We came on. But anyway, we're here now. How are we all doing? I've only had four years to try and get this right. But hey-ho, what can I say? Um, anyway, uh, what, if it, I tell you what's been a really weird week this week. And it has been a really weird week this week. Uh, it's just a couple of things, really. Firstly, firstly, I managed to get hold of this thing here, the London telephone box. How strange is that? Um, I'll talk to you a little bit about that uh, later on, how I came to, came to getting it. It was a bit weird, to say the least, and quite surreal uh, in all truth. It really, really was. However, however, news-wise this week, it's been really quiet as well, hasn't it? Uh, other than the news of, say, something like Peppa Pig uh, coming out, we've got a little bit more news on Ninjago City, though we don't quite know what the threshold for that is yet. Uh, and then, of course, uh, they got the news for the Bad Batch this week that Facades Ventress is going to be back in that as well. So fingers crossed, we get a few more of those cool sets coming our way. And and we also get uh, a decent car too, because uh, I quite I do quite enjoy Bad Batch, but it just doesn't go sort of too deep and meaningful into it, if you know what I mean. Uh, I am a big Clone Wars fan, but a lot of people don't like Bad Batch. I think it's all right. I find it quite entertaining. But let me know what you guys and girls think out there about that as well. Uh, otherwise, uh, folks, got, we, we, we're going to be doing a PMQ this week. That's going to be coming to us uh, via Ollie, a.k.a. BrickSQ. And uh, I've got the, some pictures to show you guys a little bit later on too, which is kind of also always one of my favorite segments. And you guys have sent me a lot of pictures in this week, which is pretty handy because, like I say, it's been a bit dry this week for the old news. Um I've got a new feature as well. I've got a new feature that we've been talking about for a little while called Mock the Week. Uh, yeah, strangely enough, I've, I've been asking around. No one's ever used that term before. So I thought we'll use it this uh, this week. But anyway, uh, let's say hello uh, to a few of you peeps out there in just a sec. Uh, but I got, uh, again, because of the, the lack of news, I thought I'll ask a really odd question this week. That is, of course, are you a, are, are you or your kids, a fan of Peppa Pig. Because obviously, uh, Lego this week, they're going to do a sort of a bit of a time, bit of a collab uh, with it, albeit kind of via Duplo as well. I do think the things look quite cool from what I've seen. Uh, yes, say 27%. No, says 50%. Oh, it's changed. It's got up with 52 then. Uh, we've got over 30 votes on that so far. Peppa Pig who? <laughs> 23%. I think uh, I think some of you guys out there will be like, oh, I don't know if I should uh, admit to even knowing anything about Peppa Pig. Um, but anyway, just one of those things. There's no real right answers. There's no real wrong answers either. Um, but anyway, folks, uh, and uh, if you sent me your pictures, as long as you've sent them in good time, uh, obviously, I will be showing them up a little bit later. Now, if I don't show you pictures tonight, you sent me, because quite you will not believe the amount of people that send it send me pictures at the last minute. Um, rest assured. I'll show them off next week. It's as simple as that. It really is, folks. Um, and especially as the fact that I do prefer the emails being, uh, prefer the pictures being sent to me via email as well. Anyway, like I always say, there's a couple of different ways to support the channel if you wish to. Uh, firstly, you can either uh, give us a super chat, put your name down there. I need to move that somewhere. I'm having a little move around around here as well, folks. You might notice as well, it's a little bit cleaner, a little bit tidier. Uh, you can see some of the sets sort of just poking out a little bit up there as well. Maybe I have to play one day a game. Guess the set. Um, and I'll put your name up there on London Wolves player video, all that lovely stuff you get with super chats. Uh, or of course, you can join the membership uh, and become a kind of a deeper, ingrained part of the LBB family. Anyway, uh, enough of that shenanigan. Let's say hello to a few of you peeps out there because, of course, tonight, if it wasn't for you lot out there, uh, it wouldn't be London calling, would it? <laughs> anyway, that was a such a bizarre intro, it really was. I, I, I literally must have sat down and pressed it by accident and gone, whoopsie, and there we go, pressed it off. Should always move my mouse next time. But anyway, there we go. Let's say hello to a few of you lovely peeps. Anyway, you've got Titanium J out there. So greetings and happy Friday. Good to see you, Titanium J, uh, TJ. Oh, excitement with the Ninjago stuff this week. Um, Minarch's out there as well. He's going to be on the panel tonight, which is really exciting. I've got a full panel tonight, folks, which is, again, pretty cool because we've got much news. Uh, hi, everyone. This is Sky Guy 365 He sent me some pictures in uh, yesterday, which is really, really cool. Looking forward to showing you those uh hello greg happy friday good to see you mate uh who else we got out there as well brick uh he's gave us uh the pmq this week um 
You'll find his details and as well as uh, everybody else's details uh, down in the description below, uh, which is very, very cool. We've got Lady McBrick out there as well. Good evening. I hope you had a wonderful week. Uh, I did actually. It was a pretty cool week. Uh, it was a bit tumultuous right at the end of it as well. Happy Friday, uh, says Pink Wheels 3. Uh, great to see you as well. I'm super excited actually tomorrow, folks, because tomorrow from 5 p.m. UK time, 12 uh, a.m. EDT time, Actually, 12 p.m. EDT time, I should say. Uh, I'll be building that just set there. Straight after this stream, I'll be setting up the one for tomorrow. Uh, who else we got out there? Matthew Bills Bricks. Great to see you, Matthew Bills. Happy, hi, everybody. And happy Friday as well. Madlib gives us a fantastic countdown. Thank you, Madlib. <laughs> uh, I feel like I should play the intro again. Uh, who else we got out there? Real cool, cool. Matt, he's going to be on Blimey Moto. Good to see you, dude. Haven't seen you for a little while. Uh, happy New Year. Do we still say Happy New Year, even though we're just creeping into February? Um, Got a really cool uh, London calling stream coming up for you guys next week as well, by the way. Got a very special guest coming on. Uh, Bricky Boots out there. He's going to be on in just a moment. Uh, who else we got out there? Mr. Chalice, he's out there too. He's missing pictures in here, everyone. Snalena, she's been a member for 24 months. My God, Snalena, you've been, he was one of the first members. I think he was, he was definitely the first three members ever. Uh, my God, is that how long I've been doing it for? Two years. Anyway, it's been a, been a very cool week. Minarch's out there. He says, what a panel for uh, LC207. Oh, yeah, it's 207. Uh, happy fourth birthday. Uh, thanks, my friend. Uh, that is very, very cool of you indeed. Uh, let's, uh, let's just pop this on there because, like I always say, folks, peeps that do this, um, it's a super chat that, of course, deserves a little bit of the old Superman. Here we go. Easy, miss. I've got you. you. You've got me. Who's got you? <laughs> I, I can't believe it. I just, I just cannot believe it. He got her. He absolutely did get her as well. Thank you so much for that, Menard. I absolutely super duper appreciate it i really really do right coming down as well we've got uh we've got clicking clip oh there he is there clicking clip saying yo everybody and uh this is a very cool one uh lord uh two i don't know what that even means but anyway he's giving us 20 uh, 20 check pounds i'm gonna suggest uh, i think that is anyway i'm actually building lego in jago city market very cool what a brilliant set that is anyway uh thank you so much for that my friend and for you Hmm, what can I play for you? Because you're a newbie as well. You know what? I'm going to play a little bit of Star Wars. I haven't got anything in Django. Here's some Star Wars for you. Detach cable. Cable detached. Detach cable. Cable Thank you so much for that. Uh, I can't wait to see what that converts into into pounds. Uh, Mini picnics out there as well. Evening, Greg. Good to see you, my friend. And hey, Frankie, says Minark. Very cool. Right. Okay. Who are we going to get on first? I'll tell you who we're going to get on first. Uh, a good friend of mine. He's just outside London. Love him to bits. And he is going to be coming up north with me a little bit later on uh this year to bricktastic actually we, this time we're not actually going to be going up together we did that last year uh which was really cool fun uh this year i think he's going to be coming up with the brick bods we'll get them on in a minute anyway uh let me introduce you folks what he's a really cool twitcher do check him out check out everybody all the details are found down in the description below is of course our good friend minark hello mate hello how How's are you yeah i'm good how are you doing all right <laughs> i'm all right that was such a weird yeah. start i'd like i thought about 190 of those and it's been perfect every time and i just sat down because i was dancing away i was dancing away to the intro we, it, it was just a shock because suddenly the music cut off and then you're just there and it was just i was just watching just like there I am. how do we react <laughs> i know i know it's so bizarre um but anyway we've made it we've, we just about made it and this is weird because what, what's weird about this one is that I set it up like three days ago and already I spotted a couple of uh, gremlins in the works, but it's the way it goes when you're live. It's just one of those things. Yeah. It's, it, it's just, you you're just live, just let it happen. you got to roll it with it. live, let it roll. <laughs> uh, but anyway, four years in the making, I'm just as rusty as I was from day one. Um, anyway, great to see you here. Uh, where would you like to go, my friend? We've got, uh, uh, we've got Galileo. Uh, we've got uh, Miami uh we've got i don't know where this guy lives he, he lives in a he, he lives in an apartment that even postmen don't know where to get out to access his uh his, his uh 
I don't know where he got his, his apartment that he lives in. I think that's what they call them out there. They call them apartments, don't they? We call them flats. Uh, I think apartment sounds much more posh, mind you. Uh, or, of course, we can pop up to Canada uh, where, where we sit. I think we're in the lounge of this geezer's this week uh, because he's painting and decorating his Lego room. Where would you like to go, my friend? Let's jump over to Canada. Um, uh, Canada. All right, we're gonna go pop mm. up to Canada. If anyone can, yeah, uh, uh, this guy can. Uh, he's he, he's been painting and decorating this week, folks. So instead of building Lego, instead of building Lego, he's building a Lego room. Uh, he, he's, he's, he's done all his emulsioning, I think that's what they use him out there. Uh, uh, Minark, he's been doing all the emulsioning, all the good stuff, and now all he's got mm. left is a few bits and bobs, and then he can get go in with his city and bring it all in. Here's, of course, our That's good friend from stuff. Canada. He's, he's looking, he looks like he's about to go out for a game of golf, actually. Uh, I think it must be the weather must be really nice up there. He's got the same sort of hat as you. Know. I, I, I missed the memo. Uh, let's bring him in anyway. He's, of course, our good friend, Andrew, a.k.a. Brickin' Brood. Hey there, everybody. Good to see you. And, yeah, this is a golf hat. You nailed it. <laughs> Straight in there. Hole in one, mate. Boof. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. I, I wish I was going golfing. Hey there, Alex. I uh, I wish I was going golfing for sure, but uh, no. I, hey, you know what? I got the golden tee back here. I could go. Oh, hit dude. the uh, hit is that the, the proper game? Is that the proper game? It, it is. It's like uh from like Wayfair, so it's like it's golden tee classic. It has four different versions of the game, but oh, uh, nice. I don't know. It's it's just uh we we don't we play it not that often. I'm not gonna lie. It was when we first got it, we played it more often than we do now, but. It looks cool, and whenever whenever someone comes over, they like to see it right away, and they go over yeah. there. But the, the the big buck hunter is my uh, my favorite one. Is it? Oh, dude! Now, well, what room are we actually in? Is, is this an actual games room that you've got? It, it basically, the I got a TV over there, and uh, I got Lego. I got kind of show you a little bit of it. Got some, oh, just a little bit. Got the TV over there. A little bit. You got this bigger. This this better than most Lego rooms. Bigger than my seen. house. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't the Lego room. This is just a. Uh, Casual hangout room. This is the room before you get into the Lego room. <laughs> casual casual room. hangout room. <laughs> it's just a casual. It's just a casual. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? I, I have all these um these like uh, these uh shelves all filled, and I'm like I'm second guessing like how I want to have everything displayed, and I, I'm thinking because uh, I've just been like I was just building everything as it was coming in, and uh I don't know. Like I know some people like TJ. Like he'll build something, put it up, and then he'll pack it away into a bag and put it away i don't know if I, other people do that so i'm yeah. thinking i might um start uh taking we some can, of these down possibly chat a bit later about that definitely mm. uh mm. We, which is phenomenal my friend yeah. uh we've got a uh, lord uh lord preck i'm gonna call him lord preck i, I don't know how, pronounce, how would you pronounce that Minark? <laughs> um i was i would have originally said lord pre-click too Oh, prick click too. I like that prick click. I like that. Uh, but even then, it's, uh, it goes. My name. Be, my name means Lord Pretzel, which is quite good. I like that. The pretzel thing. And twenty k say is uh, eight eight dollars or something, right? Lord, honestly, dude. Uh, that's. I'm. I'm just super grateful uh, for your super chat. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm definitely. I think we're gonna go with the pretzel part of that one because uh, the I Minark. Mean, you know what I'm like with names and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, uh, for that, I, get mine right. I have to ask Greg, what, what were you, uh, I don't, I don't know what word you said when you were referring to my, uh, my Lego room, uh, that I, you, you think I was, I was like, I, I painting is what I was doing and stuff. What did you think? I, you said another word. Emotioning. Emotioning. emotioning? Yeah. Emotioning. It, it, emotion is a, is a, is a type of paint. It's uh, water based oh, okay. paint. I have uh, never heard this. Yeah. Oh no, it's, it's what it is. It's what, it's what you probably painted it with emotion and uh, look it up. Uh, okay. hold that thought. Yeah. I, anyway, I painted with emotion for Google, sure, but uh, oh, with emotion, always oh, do painted with emotion. There we go. He's like an artiste. Anyway, <laughs> Mr. Pretzel, this is for you. Automatic. good to see you uh she's gonna be coming on in a couple of weeks folks as well as a bit of an aussie contingency as well now where do you want to go brick and brood uh we've got somewhere where even postmen don't know where this guy lives uh we've got somewhere in miami where just gorgeous people live and this guy is definitely gorgeous we've got somewhere that's lower than a snake's belly in a place called Southampton, uh where, where someone's desperately trying to put their hair up in a knot at the moment uh or we can go to uh, gallifrey or we can go to uh, somewhere in uh, california uh, and this, every time I listen to this guy on his podcast, he's, he, 
he always seems to mention somehow or other uh, the, the price of houses in America at the moment, especially around California and where he wants to live. Uh, where would you like to go? Well, the, the one that stuck out to me is uh, Miami. I'm, I'm going to be going there in May. So, uh, oh, let's go to Miami. Miami, May, May, Miami. There we go. Yeah. I have only own Don Johnson's going out there. <laughs> Whatever you do, folks, lock up your daughters. That's all I can say. Uh, but anyway, on that, on that absolute bombshell, let's bring him in, shall we? Uh, he's uh, last year, folks, he was in season four of Lego Masters. What's he going to be doing this year? I don't know. What does life get any better after Lego Masters? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out a little bit later. Anyway, he's our good friend, of course, Lewis, aka Salad Bricks. Hey, what's up, everybody? Yo, good to see you, dude. How the devil are you? Guys? I'm doing great. You guys? You look really well, actually. You, you've actually, I mean, look, I'm pal because I live in Great Britain. Uh, you've actually got a bit of a tan. You've been on holiday. No, uh, no. Not for a couple of weeks. I was actually in the Bahamas for a week or so early in January, New Year for the New Year. But you look great on it. I think that would have faded already. So I don't Honestly. know. Uh, you look good on it, man. Yeah, we look... get plenty of sun down here. He looks hot. He definitely does look hot. I mean, is it? Anyway, good to see you, dude, my friend. Uh, we're we're going to be talking about what you're going to be up to this year. Hopefully, I'll, get, I'll even meet you this year. Um, yeah, it's well, gonna be Go on. In... Honestly, it's not far. I mean, folks, this time next week, we're into February already. Uh, I mean, where's January gone? Um, anyway, where would you like to go next? We've got, uh, we can go to Galileo. We can go to Southampton. Or we could go to some place that no postman in the universe or postwoman even know where the, the, this, this postcode resides. Or we could go really south, down to California. Where would you like to go? Uh, let's see where that postman gets lost. I have no idea where that is. So, uh... <laughs> Not as the postman. I don't even think this guy knows where he is. very curious. Maybe. Maybe he just lives in a giant camper van made of Lego. Who knows? Anyway, this big of course, is our good friend, Mr. Mellish, otherwise known as Matt Mellish. Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Ooh. I'm doing, we're doing great, mate. Uh, nice to see you as well. Oh, he's, he's changed slightly. He's pulled his sleeves up. So this man, we, we call it check over here. Talking to check. Uh, but, but look, this is, this is what we call check. That's a nice check. I like that. It's kind of dark blue, lighter blue blended with some coral yeah very good yeah. i like it colorful like joyful it. um and i am from pennsylvania i know it's very forgettable but pennsylvania. <laughs> east coast u.s just east coast is fine pennsylvania you know where dracula <laughs> comes from mark dracula lives in pennsylvania isn't it that would be transylvania um, oh transylvania <laughs> same place isn't it uh <laughs> uh i know it was uh pennsylvania somewhere or other um uh, anyway Matt, <laughs> Matt, you're looking great. You're looking very, very well. Uh, someone well. who always looks super well. Uh, another lamb, another bod in land. Uh, is of course uh, Jean's version. She goes, uh, Lewis, uh, I'm actually currently torturing myself rereading, rereading Harry Potter. Why are you rereading that for? Is it are they doing a remake of the movies or something? Oh, it's fun. It's not torture. Those, those are fun. I enjoyed those. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I, I, I think I've bought them. It's got to be something new to read. But okay. okay. I've, I've <laughs> Why, why, well, so. why is she telling you that anyway? Do you, are you a Harry Potter fan? No, uh, I mean, I, I enjoy it, but I wouldn't consider myself a fan. But uh, we have chatted about books in general that we've read. So, okay, um, okay. Uh, Gina, I, uh, obviously, Gina, I need to get you back on the call to chat about that. Uh, so, just let me know if you if you happen to be free in March. Just saying, uh, honestly, I'm fully, I'm, I'm virtually fully booked all the way through February. It's unbelievable, it is. Um, We've got Saletscape out there as well. Good to see you, Saletscape. Hope all is well with you. And don't forget, folks, in Mark, how exciting is this? A month from now, we're going to be at Bricktastic. I know. Uh, I know. It's going to be amazing. So many oh. people we're going to hang out with. It's awesome. Yeah, I know. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. We'll be chatting about that a lot tonight. Star City is out there as well. I saw a Mega Man earlier on as well. And a special shout out as well to Hall of 66 and, of course, the gorgeous Lady McBrick as well. Right. Uh, Matt Mellish, where would you like to go? We've got uh, Galileo. Uh, we've got uh, Southampton, or we've got uh, Gee Whiz, California. Where would you like to go? We'll stay in the U.S. and go to California. Oh, I always stay in the U.S. What is it with Americans? The U.S., right? they don't even ever go to Canada. So he's, oh, I'm going to go to Canada. I can't <laughs> go. They might think I like them. Uh, I'll go Germany instead. Uh, anyway, we're, where are we going to go, folks? This guy. I love Canada just out of, just to <clears throat> side with Andrew. I adore Canada. Thank it's you. Right, I appreciate Andrew. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a little disclaimer there for the Canadian. Uh, this guy has redefined the acronym 
SOS. He really is. Uh, quite cleverly as well, actually, because I can remember this one uh, as opposed to what it's really, really called. But anyway, he is by some distance one of my favorite podcasters out there, folks. He really is. I've got a good handful of peeps that I listen to quite regularly. This guy is completely irregular at the moment. But I know this week he's actually been hanging around with the likes of Gene's version as well. So I'm looking forward to hearing what they're all about and seeing them as well with all these cameras that he's got going on. Is of course, my good friend uh, and someone I'm going to be meeting later on this year as well. Shy time is my time. Um, Yo, what's going on, everyone? Good morning. Hey. As it, as it goes, that's his kid screaming in the background, folks. But don't worry about it. That's just life. Shy, don't worry about it. I, I, I accidentally started the stream quick, too quick. We, I had the intro running. And uh, I just thought, oh, I'll just press this button here. And it, it stopped the video running. So I was like, oh, I'm here now. I'm live. So I can't wait to watch that back and see see what a surprise face that I've got. Uh, yeah, like, gonna... My daughter's like literally right outside my door and my door is wide open. So all right, well, get, 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 tell, now I know you. I know your kids only watch about two hours of YouTube a week, and, uh, and uh, uh, but just make sure that the two of those hours, or at least two minutes of those are two hours, are uh, watching this and giving it a thumbs up as well. If she's allowed to, that is. And yeah, my kids don't even watch my stuff, so it's fine. They don't even watch your stuff. I see. I see. I, I, I was listening. I, I. Do you know? What? I was listening to your your latest one, um, and I got to the point. Oh, what point did I get to? I wrote it down, and I was like, "Oh, I'm, I'm very interested in that part. What he's going to say next?" Uh, it was. Just, he was just talking about. It was. Just, he's building my Minecraft set, which I, which, I, which was a bit weird. Uh, this is a new one. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about your podcast a little bit later on, which I am enjoying, by the way. I really am enjoying. Uh, it's very very cool indeed. Uh, I love a podcast. I wish I, I've got the name of a podcast. I've got three good names for podcasts. Uh, I just need to do one one day. Maybe I'll just do this one. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I'm four years in, which makes me feel really old in the YouTube world now. Um, shy. It is by default you have to pick where you're going to go next. It's going to go uh, Galileo, uh, Southampton, or uh, and that's it. That's it. That's all we got. Go because then we get the newbie on. Galileo. Galileo. Uh, I always say Galileo, folks, because it semi triggers this person. It really does in more ways than not, not, uh... not just him. It triggers a few. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah, because you're a yes. Hoovian, aren't you? That's it. You're a Hoovian <laughs> uh, as well. Anyway, let's bring him on, shall we? It's my good friend Gaz. He's going to be streaming with me tomorrow, which, uh, by the way, just in case you was wondering, yes, that is the London Telephone Box. And yes, I will be streaming it tomorrow live. Uh, let's bring him on, shall we? It's my good friend Gaz, aka the mini fig. Ooh. Hello, Gaz. No, he started early. No, don't worry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there sorry. he is. <laughs> oh, <Hello. AD> Gaz. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. How are you? Everyone good? All right. All right. You're not all, you're not all streamed out yet then uh, this week? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. I actually had a good night's sleep last night as well. So, yeah. Dude, you was up Energy. really early. I was checking oh, my messages this morning at five five a.m. and you was you was checking stuff around that time as well. Uh, you was online, so you yeah, you went to bed as late as. I must have gone to bed about half one, and I was up at five. And oh, no, I wasn't that late. <laughs> no, no, you wasn't that late, but you was up bloody early, and you was messaging oh, yeah. me about a quarter to twelve last night. So you, it was it was a late one. Um, <laughs> it, it was, it, it was. But anyway, good good on you, my friend. I'm glad you had a good night's sleep. Now, yeah. uh, where would you like to go next? We have got. Oh, by oh, default, actually, it is just Southampton. Uh, and yeah. then, oh, well, I'll have to pick that then. <laughs> all right you have to go that's lower than a thanks belly and normally folks i'd introduce these uh i've got nye out there as well uh okay that nice is uh, paul paul clayton says hello hello paul clayton <laughs> um now normally speaking uh this would be a uh i mean i'm intrigued who's nye anyway who's nye that's a strange <laughs> name uh anyway paul good to see you my friend uh normally speaking i'd introduce these as a couple um but since since last weekend uh they seem to have sprung uh another one so it's a bit of a trio Ooh. coming on this could be a love uh love triangle we're seeing develop here folks because just between you and me and the 50 of you out there watching this at the moment i think ian's got a bit of competition with this one but anyway let's bring him on shall we don't tell him anyway whatever you do uh he's of course our good friend carrie and ian and the the other one uh otherwise known as the brick bots Hello. 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 <laughs> oh, we're good, thank you. Oh, no. Yeah, we've got we've got a mascot today because oh you know, my lord, it, it, is that agree. is that you I'm said not... I had to bring the Peppa Pig knowledge, so I brought yeah. Peppa Pig. But I did. I actually did say that, didn't I? I didn't think <laughs> yeah. Peppa Pig's got a very strange shaped head, isn't it? Is it a he or she? She. Oh, it's a yeah. she. All right, she's yeah. got a very strange 
Yeah, oink. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a strange shaped head. I will say that. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. Anyone got any ideas? Uh, TJ, Ian, I don't know, anyone? Um, <laughs> too early, Greg. Yeah. Oh, is it, is it, it too early? early? All right, fair enough. <laughs> Just stay. Anyway, all I can say is with a hooter like that, I would not want to get a cold. Um, <laughs> anyway, oh. uh, anyway, well, enough about Ian. Uh, what, what, what about you, Carrie and Pepper B? <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm I'm just too distracted by Peppa Pig. Uh, <laughs> just going, oh, are we good? Aren't we yeah. all? <laughs> yeah, it's just, exactly. I would be as well. Have that big fit. Don't take your eyes out. Um. Uh, anyway, you two are looking very well. It's got wings. Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's have a look at those legs. Uh, <laughs> oh, I haven't seen legs like that since oh, last dear, time. Man. Someone's <laughs> missed leg day. Oh, dear. Yeah, they haven't they? They're ridiculous. Yeah, I, haven't even, I haven't even, I haven't, I haven't seen legs like that since the last time I, I bumped into Menarch at a, a brick convention. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, straight oh, in there. Oh. Uh, well, you will, you, you're gonna wear shorts. I'm just saying. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, now I'm never gonna wear shorts around you ever in the 80s as well. That's what that about. Uh, anyway, got Mayo Hosco out there as well. Polar Bricks is out there. Oh, big like that. Uh, reminds me, I do love pigs in blankets. I really do. Uh, Aubrey's out there. Aubrey, lovely to see you. Uh, anyway, we've we got we got a newbie on tonight, folks. Matt, great to have you here. Lewis, Ricky Brood, Mini Fiku, Shy Toe is my type. Shy, Shy, Shy is semi on the podcast and semi working at the moment. I think he's got his head in the spreadsheet. There he is. And to try to tell the kids to be quiet. Uh, Peppa Pig is, uh, well, I don't know, he's kind of. You know, it's Friday night. What can I say? What do Peppa Pigs get up to on Friday night? You're going to find out tonight. Uh, Menard's <laughs> here as well. Uh, but our next guest, our next guest apparently dwells uh, in a in, on the East Coast of America, not quite on the coast itself, slightly inland, uh, in, a, in, a, in a little old place called Tennessee. Uh, I discovered this guy uh, by watching Good Morning Brickwell, which, of course, uh, I watch most Sunday afternoons over here in the UK. You know, bearing in mind the Americans are five hours behind us, just saying. Um, so it's uh, it's kind of like a real pleasure, really, to get him on for once. Uh, he's a good guy. Uh, be, been uh, kind of communicating for quite a while. He's, he's one of these guys that we, we've been trying to get on probably for about the last two and a half months. And I can't even remember when I'm due to be, go on his stream as well. But I think that's going to be sometime in March. But anyway, this is bringing him on, folks. Uh, he's a good lad. And we're going to find out... A lot more about him tonight here on London Calling 208 is, of course, our good friend from the East Coast of America, co-host of Good Morning Brick World, Drew Bricks. Hey, Hi, Drew. how's it going, everybody? Yeah, How good, man. Cool. Hey. Thank you for having me. I'm oh. excited to be here. Good, good to have you. Now, because you're the newbie, I'm going to pop you in the middle. So, sorry, okay. Lewis. <laughs> as good looking, as tanned as you are, my friend. Uh, can I colour this? This is quite nice. It's got everyone in the dark t-shirts down below. That's it. <laughs> Shy show. Shy's been down the gym. Look at his guns. Shy, show us your guns. Uh, oh, he did it straight away. He said he didn't even try. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Woo! Anyway, I going, oh, see his legs when I go to Chicago later in the year. Uh, in the middle here. We've got cats. Is it? Is it, is it, oh, I, do it. I, do it? I feel like I'm trying to organize my Lego here. Do I do it by the people that are wearing caps or do I do it by the color of their T-shirts? I don't know. How would you do it, <laughs> Harry? Uh, I, I think caps versus no caps. Oh, caps versus no caps. All right. OK, that means, uh, well, does it does Gaz count? I mean, I mean, his hair does double up as a hat. As well. <laughs> and, uh, it really does. I think I think we're going to have to have caps, no caps. So we've got caps down there. I've got cap. Uh, I can't do that. I can't use the newbies. He goes there by default. There we go. I think that's it. Does it feel a little bit more evened up now, Carrie? Everyone yeah, else yeah, down there? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, good, good stuff. Okay. Uh, welcome to my world tech. Hey, there you go. You must be uh, talking about the old uh, the old shorts and stuff. Uh, no one wears them better than tech. That's all I can say. Uh, we've got short bricks a lot out there as well. Uh, good to see you out there. Uh, who else we've got out there as well? I just saw some two indie kids. Bloody well, Sydney Fraser, mate. Uh, good evening, everyone. It's a rare treat to be able to be here this evening. Really, it is a treat for us uh, to have you here. Um, 
We're doing a little favor, folks. Everybody who's in the panel tonight, there's nine of us here tonight. There's loads of us. Yeah. There's not much news out there, folks. So thank God we got a full panel because we can just talk about stuff. Uh, <laughs> like uh, like Brick and Brew and talk about drying paint. Uh, that's how exciting this is going to be tonight. <laughs> and also talk and, about uh, <laughs> <mean avoiding. laughs> uh, But we've got the survey going as well. Uh, the survey B, we've got 53 people that have voted. Uh, and uh, what, what's he saying? He goes, uh, are you or your kids... A fan fans of Peppa Pig, twenty three percent says yes, twenty three percent. But I mean, this this new scene is going to go down well, isn't it? Uh, no, oink oink, uh, forty six. Oh, it's just changing as we it's going up and down like uh, like my shares at the moment. Uh, Peppa Pig, oink oink oink. Who's that? Thirty uh, percent. So yeah, I need twenty four percent. I thought it'd be loads more than that. Uh, we've got Redman out there as well saying hi, Greg. Hi, Mini Fiku. Hi, Minark. Uh, and Stud Sidious as well. He's gorgeous. That escape. I've just adjusted my NYC time zone. I presume that's New York City. Uh, I'm used to Warsaw time now. Warsaw time? We do. You go to Poland. Um, I'll get all mixed up when I get back. Oh, he's, over, he's, he's, going over, he's coming over to Europe. Good man. Uh, anyway, let's, let's go around the panel, see how they're all doing. Um, but before we do, before we kick off with Andrew, because uh, we're on tender hooks with Andrew, because Andrew's getting some more fiber. He's having a fiber optic <laughs> update uh, this that's week. Right. I thought it was here earlier. It was just the Amazon, unfortunately. It was just Amazon, was it really? God. Uh, I got something cool. I think I'll show you, I'll show you guys later. Oh, you can show us that. All right. Oh, cool. Let's go. Uh, it's exciting. It's, it, I'm, I like that. Join, join the tension out. I'm loving that. Uh, keep your eyes on Peppa Pig as well, folks. He's a bit of a dodge rather that. I think he's, <laughs> he's trying to get rid of Ian on the quiet. Uh, where should we go there? Let's, uh, let's start with the newbie, Drew Bricks. Yeah. Drew Bricks. Um, tell us a little bit about you. What you're about. Why have I got you here? Why am I so interested in having you on with us? Uh, how did you get on Good Morning Brick World? Where did you come from? How did you get into Lego? What's your favourite Lego set? Have you got a favourite element? <laughs> just one uh, question for you. Just one. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So, enjoy well, the stream, everyone. started about in 1998 <laughs> and uh, November 21st, you know. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I'm, I, uh, I'm from California in San Diego. Uh, about a t about close to shy. Never knew shy existed until I came onto the platform, which is uh, which is cool. Um, and yeah, you know, I've always been a fan of Lego. Just something about it. Like uh, the best way I think I can describe it is Lego fits that perfect medium for me because I'm very kinesthetic, and so my profession is in construction, and so I can. Oh, yeah build stuff all day but where are you going to put it you can't just keep building houses all day you can't yeah. keep building rooms all day you can only go so far then there's minecraft which you can sit in front of the computer you have unlimited resources you only have to pay 30 dollars once yeah, you just keep yeah. playing but lego is that perfect happy medium that i can build whatever i want even though it does get quite expensive depending on which route you go <laughs> It's definitely that happy medium for me, and I can combine the two very, very well. And it's something that has just been with me forever. And Star Wars, the first battle pack, Star Wars, I think was the first set I ever got that I quite oh, remember yeah. as a kid. And so that uh, that first ever box of boys for the ACOB boys out there. The and, box uh, of boys, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That is a good term. I, I will say that. I did like that. Too. Yeah, box, that was, was a boys. great catch. Great catch. And so my dad, oh, shy, shy, come on! What's all that about? <laughs> What's <he> doing there? <laughs> sure. Is that how much? Is that how much they paid you to be on their stream last night? <laughs> oh, 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 done. Oh, 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 that's two flexes in one show already. That is a good flex. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, Shy's obviously doing an, another army, folks. Uh, okay, we'll yeah. hear about that in a minute. Uh, so you you bought you you bought the first box of boys, uh, yeah. and um, so obviously you're into Star Wars, uh, very very nice. much. And so, like before, I got my first Lego set. I think I I saw Star Wars before that. At least the last first Lego set I can recall is the star wars battle pack and mm -hmm. so um yeah that just drove me even farther in the lego always had more lego space than i did a bed growing up 
because uh, of my choice, you know, wanted all that space. Yeah. And it's it's always been something that's inspired me. Watch Solid Bricks, Michael MGF um, growing up. And those were my two big um, inspirations. And so I just started mocking, started building, taking apart my sets. I remember I had like the first sail barge. And <laughs> my sister, if she ever somehow sees this she would be upset i tell the story but she cried over me destroying the first sail barge because i wanted all the pieces out of it and she went down to my parents saying you know he's taking it apart he's taking it apart and they're like well it's his lego set <laughs> and i'm like and i think that was the final drive you know to make me a full-time mocker and, and just take apart my sets always so but then um, I did start getting into the Lego YouTube space with uh, Bricktown Studios. It was the first time ever. Uh, didn't go the way that I planned and life just got crazy. So I slowly fell out of it. Had multiple dark ages um, just because, you know, in middle school, you you don't think girls will think you're cute, cool if you're playing with Lego all the time. <laughs> you, so. you nearly said cute then. I like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, uh, but then you realize most girls do think it's kind of cool that you have a hobby. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah. And then college happened and moving away, then moving across the United States. Um, and once I finally got to the place that I am now, I have the master bedroom that has two rooms. So, of course, the bigger room is the Lego room. Nice. <laughs> um, Priorities. And, I like that. Uh, I like exactly. That. And so, uh, yeah. And I started I'm like, you know, what? I'm going to try this YouTube thing. I'm going to try Instagram. I already had an account. And just some things took off. Met some great people. I, I started the podcast. Um, Shy's been on the show. And Brick Hive was on the show. What's the name of your podcast? What's the name of your podcast? Because I've seen you've had some big names on there. Yeah, Late Night Bricks. And Night um, Night. that's kind of a little bit on the back burner uh, just because I was doing three shows, which was my show, um, Bearding with the Brick, and then uh, Good Morning Brick World that I do uh, my show as a personal live stream whenever whenever it works out. Oh, hey, Hive. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> your man's out there. <laughs> and so... Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, had Hive on and we just clicked really well. And so he was, he asked me if I was interested uh, a few weeks later after I thought about it and uh, got to meet the team with Lene and Rich. And we just all seemed to gel really well. And it's been, it's been history ever since. <laughs> yeah, man. No, it's good. It's good. I, I, I like what you bring to the show as well. Um, Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a nice, fresh dynamic. Uh, I think it's really cool. Thank you. Um, so, okay, Drew, good, to, good to have you here. Thank you. Um, Happy um, to be here. I, I, and I'm looking forward to coming on your show one day as well. Yeah, uh, definitely, um, definitely. Did, did we? I'm sure I did arrange a time and date with you, but uh, yeah, I, can't remember. I but think, we, I think so, maybe. Or I think like, we said the month. We said a month yeah, that worked month. for you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely March, March, because February is so. I'm going to be super busy in February. Yeah. Uh, so I'm kind of happy about this thing because it's uh, it's brought everything forward a week, which is kind of nice. Definitely. Right now, talking of nice things, uh, while, while it's quiet, let's let's see what Shy's been up to this week. Uh, <laughs> Shy, uh, you, you look reasonably chilled out. I'm, I'm by, by, by the way, you're kind of uh, kind of stooped into your seat. Uh, <laughs> tell us a little bit about your week, my friend, and, and what you've been up to. Well, technically, I'm working. In case anybody at work knows I'm here, <laughs> <laughs> just to prove it. That's, yeah, yeah, I'm working. He's, 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 he's networking at the moment, folks. He's networking at the yeah, moment. Right. He's, he's, he's um, working, I guess. I mean, everyone's been hyping uh, Cali, uh, Cali Brick, like sitting on a stoop, uh, based on the photos that I've been posting, and then Jeans definitely helping me out on this one. So, only adding to the pressure of the episode now. <laughs> so. I've really, I've really been hitting the uh, editing game for, uh, for this episode. So yeah, I, it would have been done today, but I kind of went back and I'm kind of looking at some things. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, what that's been going on as, as far as the editing is concerned. But like, yeah, I went to Austin this past weekend with my wife and got to hit up, you know, six episodes recording five different Lego rooms. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty intense. I mean, you know, going to one Lego room just that's not yours and kind of like diving into the headspace of, uh, you know, someone that you, that you follow, someone that you're friends with and yeah. like, you know, but doing it like five times. <laughs> I, I know. Did you, did, how did you find, did you find it? Did you find it quite, uh, 
did you find it when you went to Chicago last year? I, I think you was kind of really under the cost last year, and you was like you was really tired. I thought, I thought, and 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 you weren't feeling that great, which is why. Mm-hmm. Um, but how did you find it this time doing it like that? Because what was you? Did you feel under any sort of pressure at all? Oh no, there's um, a lot of pressure. <laughs> so I only so I only had so long to be there. So I, yeah. I was there Friday. I, I landed Friday. Gene picked us up at the airport. So thank you again. Um, and then you know everyone's kind of shuffling me around all over Austin. And you know on paper they all look close by, but you know I didn't. Re- I kind of <laughs> underestimated how big Austin was slash suburb extension of austin um, it's pretty big so you know get from getting from one spot to another can take like 30 minutes same distance here in la will take like two hours but like um you know i only had i knew how long the setup was to do this so it takes me in the beginning takes me like 30 minutes to set up you know give give myself two hours to record you know because you're gonna have like 30 minutes of like kind of figuring out what you're gonna talk about and then actually recording for an hour to an hour and a half and then another 30 minutes down so if you're doing the math (laughs) you you know you're looking at three hours per person not including traveling time and and that's what i mean it's hard work it's not how did did, would you did you sleep well when after you finished when you got home and no, stuff like I that? was so the end of Friday night I was exhausted um just because of the traveling too and like yeah. being you know night before I was working just you know getting the kids up all, all that kind of stuff um come Saturday uh, it wasn't it wasn't that bad uh who do I record first on Saturday oh Josh I mean I'm up early anyways being a dad so yeah. you know and Josh were like hey this is doing the morning <laughs> so we you know we did that first so you know, I, I although I only had like three hours allotted per person, you know, like it kind of it really got kind of messed up because I was also doing something with Josh, and so time got out of whack. Luckily, everyone was flexible and understanding. So, you know, I I do know now based on a couple things like how much memory each camera takes because I'm recording with three different cameras. Yeah, you, you are. Can only record for like an hour and a half to two hours long each. Yeah, I got a data drop every so often so realistically if i were to be stationary if like if i didn't have to move or travel so let's take chicago to an account i can only realistically record for a day there's no like come in and talk for like 30 minutes and bounce because I, I eventually have to take the memory out of the cameras and it, it's not a quick turnaround so i got to figure out that mess but in essence got to hang out in austin for a, quite a bit my wife got to chill and hang out with you know with everybody you know especially gene so thank you again for <laughs> shuffling her around but you know everyone yeah. was cool and the best part of it was although i didn't get to experience austin um like experience experience it um i got to like see everyone's space which was hella worth it yeah yeah because you're seeing everything from a different angle mm-hmm. as well yeah uh, and it's, it's, it's a bit like going on a film set isn't it? Mm-hmm. It is really, isn't it? It's especially yeah, with people that do live streams. Um, oh, very cool, man. Very, very. So it was, it was quite an intense few days. You kind of. Oh, yeah. I didn't you, stop. Barely stopped moving. Uh, I think after we recorded, because Emily was the last one I recorded Sunday, we went to go get, you know, we were recording in the morning and then we had to hit, get we had to get to this barbecue spot that was close by that I really wanted to eat and like, or experience Texas barbecue, like Astros Texas barbecue. So yeah. we stopped recording. <laughs> we ate our food. We, and then we, we continue with the recording. And then after that, everybody kind of hang on. <laughs> um, and we so in the first them. half, it's all kind of like the second half, everyone's got yeah. a bit more of a full well, belly. Is, like, like, in the, in the mic. Emily's episode. We we're always like, we were like, you know, down, like we, before we left, we're like, okay, we only have like 15 minutes left of recording. When we get back, let's just let's eat our food, let's record for 15 minutes, we'll be done. We ended up recording for another 45 almost an hour after that. So her episode is gonna be really oh, long. Wow, that is um, awesome. but whenever whenever that comes out, I'm thinking April. So Dude, I, last that one. six months ago, I, I, I did a I did an interview with um the the designer of the um uh, Bricklink Designer Programs uh, modular construction site. Mm-hmm. I, I am doing my absolute best to get narrow down my time, get it all out of the way to, to start work on it. And I, I basically, my one's just quite easy. It's just one, most of it's one camera. I did have another camera on there. Love the fact you've got the three camera thing. That's kind of good. Um, mm-hmm. I do like that as well. 
uh, but but I'm 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 thinking, my God, if 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 you can do this with three cameras, I should easily be able to edit this up with just one. And and it was literally about six months ago. And then the reason I'm I'm going to do it now, just before Bricktastic, is because I'm bringing that designer with us to Bricktastic with showing off his new mock uh, that he's going to be doing as well, which is really 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 cool. So so uh, the, the multiple camera thing, it's also like a fail safe because yeah. you have one shot to record. Right. Yeah. So although, you know, we had to could have started all over and did it again, you, you lose out on conversation, yeah. you lose out on a lot of other energy. things. The energy. Yeah. The, the, the energy the all that stuff. stuff. Yeah. So there is one episode, and it's the, the Blair episode, where I was blurry. Like so, but if the whole if I was only using one camera, then no, that'll be it. <laughs> it sucks to yeah. watch. But luckily, you know, the, the overhead camera was was perfect, and so was their camera. Like they look fine. I can live with that. But yeah. if you know. When you're doing when you're when you're taking up other people's time you know you want to elite like you eliminate the room for error yeah. so you know having three cameras or two multiples definitely kind of it i mean it sucks if you do mess up on one of the cameras but like if you know it, if you if you do your your footage is not completely lost yeah mm. and, and you gotta have that memory as well i've i've just bought three memory sticks for a brand new camera here's a six i bought a new camera i got it two weeks ago folks i haven't even taken it out of its box yet because i've been <laughs> so busy with time and stuff like that guys you know when i got it um yeah. and and i've yeah, got it especially <laughs> for going big tastic and doing vlogs and stuff like that and i'm really excited about it as well um but i i've made sure that i've got free memory sticks i've got like um 750 oh, wait a minute, quite a few uh, terabytes of um 750 terabytes no no not 750 terabytes 750 <laughs> <laughs> what is this giant yeah. field of like <laughs> yeah. 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 i'm going around with three cameras tied to my head I'm like come oh, on jesus <laughs> uh, but yeah it's oh, no. uh, but it is a thing and then of course think you can't, can't lose them you've got the color grading as well you've got to deal with i noticed that you've got two cameras exactly the same and so the color grading should be quite yeah. easy in that respect yeah i so i i picked up another a6 it's a newer version of it but like um there's still there's still a lot of so when you use dslrs there's a, there's so much room for error it's not an iphone or a, a, an android yeah so so many still, things can happen um but 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 going back to the memory thing like i yeah, yeah. i brought like six like 128 gig like sd cards just to record like a backup for each there's two per camera and two terabyte like uh you know hard drives like like, like portable hard drives and i'm one that like I back up twice because you're traveling all, all it really takes is one little knock to one of the hard drives and it's yeah, gone yeah. So, you know, I, I definitely prep for failure. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, you gotta do it. Well, you got any online. That's why I, I'm home here now. I'm I'm happy that I've got um I've got gig gig speed into the internet so that I can so that I know when I've done something, I can I can archive it and I know I've got it accessible for a while. Especially now as the, the end of the, the years now. I want to do a sort of a London call and rewind as well. I know you've because there's a lot of footage to get through and bits and pieces to keep and at the end of the year i just want some stuff to be able to sort of go through and see and 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 so it's important you need to, to buy space and people talk about spaces in their houses and stuff like that yeah that's one thing you need memory space as well um let's uh, let's let's go up let's go north a little bit to mr matt mellish um matt Great to have you here, my friend. You look be here. gorgeous as ever. You really do. Uh, love the hairstyles. I love that shirt, man. It's nice. It matches Thanks. your background. It's per did you choose that shirt because of your background? Like, it looks good. I chose the shirt, and then I did the lighting in the background. So uh, it always uh, thinks. Okay, 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 okay. We have to be in there, the here. He's like he's like Mr. Coral tonight. He is. I like that. Uh, look, looking good, my friend. Um, Matt, so you, you're doing um, vids and stuff like that uh, oh, yeah. for for content that you're getting. Do you, do you find do you find that is quite a difficult thing to have all the memory space? Because I, I continuously keep seem to be buying memory blooming sticks and stuff. <laughs> These are just two hard drives that I can pull out yeah. of a drawer like immediately. Um, these are each five terabytes, and nice. I size. always shoot more than I need. Um, I did photography <laughs> before I even got into content creation. Yeah. So, like, that taught me a different level of education for 
what I could take into this side of my life, which has yeah. been really nice. But even when I was just doing regular photography and it wasn't like a full-time job or anything, it was just on the side. You always get really nervous. Like shy was talking about that. Something is going to go wrong. You're going to accidentally uh, hit the format button on your camera. You're going to oh. lose a card or somehow it's going to get corrupted. But that's why I was always too afraid to shoot like a wedding. I don't know how those guys do it. I would be so anxious the whole time. Yeah. But yeah, it's always difficult, especially because I, like I said, I overshoot and then my card gets full. So I immediately have to transfer it over to my computer. And then that's like 20 minutes of downtime that I have to fill with something else that I've already pre planned. So trying to save time is also important. And being efficient is. Uh, yeah something that everybody has to do at some point that's harsh it really is a harsh thing and uh and also as well setting it up like when, when you're doing a like an interviewee sort of thing or something like that or you're just setting up some video in a room to to do a review or something like that it's all the setup it's all the stuff that's behind the camera uh yeah. that really makes good lighting is probably still my weakest point of of, of sorting stuff out but um you can, it's, it's all a learning curve. It really is. Uh, Gene's learning stuff. I, I, we, we all are on a constant learning curve. <laughs> and I'm desperate to get on my hands on this new camera that I've got to learn how to use the blooming thing. Um, well, I that's do... the thing, too. Like, you can make it as easy or as difficult as you want. Like, yeah. you can use yeah. a DSLR high-end camera, or you can just simply use an iPhone. Yeah. Like, yeah. you can make it as hard for yourself as you want. Uh, you, you don't have to shoot in a mode where you have to color grade, but we always want to do the best that we can. I think out of this group, m most people feel that way in a bunch yeah. of different respects, whether that be content creation or mock building, whatever the case is. And so we always have to take it to the next level, but we don't have to, but we do it because we love yeah. it. And, and that's, oh, you know, you just reminded me of the bit that I got to <laughs> see when I was listening to, um, uh, podcast earlier on today. Thank you for that, Matt. Uh, let's go around and just see what people are actually building. Uh, a brick pods. Are you are you building or are you doing your uh, some online shopping? Uh, what, what are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah I'm building. I've got uh, friends. Oh, so cool. Oh, well, that is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, last yeah, year, I seem to be on a winter theme at the moment because I did the igloo last week. So. Uh, it's technically still winter, I suppose. Yeah. It, it feels a bit summery today. Actually, it does. Uh, what what are you letting Ian do? Oh, that one. Oh, no. This one yeah. was bought purely for the animals. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. It, out it was cheaper to buy the set than to buy the animals. Is it yeah. really? Or is it, I should say. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious. Sorry. Uh, there seems to be a, a pig missing. Uh, I don't know. Did anyone see what happened to the pig? I don't know where she went. You didn't oh, eat it, did you? I didn't eat it. I didn't eat it. I didn't eat it. I didn't eat it. <laughs> oh, look at what he's holding it as well. You don't hold pig, the pig like that, Ian. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, poor old Peppa Pig. Uh, anyway, what are you guys eating tonight? You normally eat Peppa Pigs, don't you? Doritos. Oh, don't Get out it. of it. That's it. What about Ian? What's Ian eating tonight? Uh, no, we're sharing. We've been sharing and then I've got no? the Coke as well. Oh, Coke. He's eating a lot of Coke, isn't he? I love his Coke. Uh, all right, good stuff. There's good for energy. Good for energy. <laughs> Uh, uh Lewis, uh, he's either doing the tax returns. I hope you've done your tax returns as well with everybody there in the UK. Uh, uh Lewis, what are you building tonight? I am building, uh, I forgot the name of this one. Oh, oh the audacious, oh, audacious, oh, audacious oh. Thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Audacious, I think. Is it audacious dragon? No, uh, it's auspicious. Something yeah. dragon. Audacious. Auspicious dragon. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. All right. How are you finding it so far? Is it all right? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a nice, uh, what, what have you built so far? Oh, very it's solid. A very solid. Uh, oh, wow. Base here. So. Sure, that's from that set. It doesn't look anything like it. Okay. I got lucky actually. I got four. I got double of everything that I ordered. Strangest what? thing that's ever happened to me. Ordering something. I ordered directly from Lego.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This set, the the other Chinese New Year set, the I forget what oh, it's called. Family, family reunion. reunion. Is that the one? family reunion. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Oh, oh, there oh it nice. So I've got it, yeah. the, uh, <laughs> the burger okay. truck and then the GWP that came with it. Nice. All right, yeah, and uh, it got it gets dropped off by UPS at my door. I, I open the door and the back the box is all like damaged and wet. Yeah. So when, <laughs> I, when I open the box, it's all the sets were there and everything's complete, but there were no boxes. Everything was just the bags. The stickers were thrown in there loose and the manuals were in there loose. 
Oh, wow. Oh, Apple Chow got to get the bad time of it. And there was a box of Pokemon at the bottom. No. <laughs> that you didn't oh, even right. order? No, of course not. And especially not from Lego.com. Oh, that so <laughs> yeah, I have yeah, no idea how that happened. I called Lego right away, and they were amazing. They had it. They shipped it out. To, they shipped out everything brand new to me the next day, and, and like overnight shipping. Uh, so they handled they handled it really well. Did they ask for pictures? They, yeah, they did. But it, yeah. even before they got the pictures, they were they had already processed the cool. the, oh, the nice replacement. Wow. And then they called me the next day, and like you know what, just keep it. <laughs> No. Or throw it away. Nice. It like, you can keep it or throw it away if you prefer. I'm like, yeah, I'll keep it. Throw it away. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. sacrilege. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we don't throw it away. Throw it away. That will never be solved. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. I, I, the only theory I can come up with is that UPS damaged the boxes. They got wet or something, and they just mm -hmm. threw yeah. on a box. Guys, I, well, I think that came from that one. Or I think that <laughs> one came from that <laughs> one. <laughs> Pokemon, <laughs> Lego, it's the same thing, isn't it? No, no, idea, but I got not get Pokemon. I got everything for free. <laughs> <laughs> everything's up. All right, good stuff, good stuff. All right. Yeah. Well, let me see. We might as well go while, while we're there. We might as well stick around with you for a bit. And uh, yeah. so, so uh, this time last year, Lego Masters was a bit of a thing. Um, but, what, you got any plans for this year? What, what, what's going to be out? Because now you're on the tide of, uh, you know, having been on it last year. Uh, you're, you're in that special sort of gang, that family of people that have been on Lego Masters. Uh, yeah. What does 2024 have in store for you, my friend? Uh, I'm going to do more shows than I've ever done before. So that, that's exciting. Um, I don't know if that's because of Lego Masters or just because I've each year I've done more and more anyway. Yeah. Um, but certainly there's a new aspect to it, which should be fun. Uh, I haven't, I'm still haven't really been building much mocks, so I am desperate to start mock building again. I don't know how many of those will go to me, will travel with me to the shows. But uh, I got, let's see, I got Atlanta in a couple weeks, Atlanta BrickCon. Oh, uh, yeah, a few people got I'll be there. Uh, Bricks Cascades in March. Um, who said they'll be there, Atlanta? I'll be there in Atlanta. Awesome. Good. Yeah. I hope to meet you there. Yeah, I definitely. Think, yeah. Um, what well, else? Gene's going to be there. I'm pretty sure Gene's going to that one. Uh, Shy, are you going to that one or is that a bit too far for you? No, no, I just spent my money on Austin. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, then after Bricks Cascades, I think I'm doing Austin in July. Oh, well, the Chicago before that in June. Yeah, yeah. Chicago, Bricks, Bricks Rodeo in Austin, and then uh, we'll see. So I got like four or five coming up, a uh, couple That's more. Good. Are you going there in the capacity of displaying something or uh, just seeing the displays or actually being there as a – oh, I was on uh, Lego Masters last year. Uh, I don't know. It's tough. Being in Miami, uh, it depends It depends if I build anything and what size it is. If it's something yeah. I can easily transport and fly with, then yes. Uh, you know, everything I've taken to shows has had to be driven there. So uh, – I'm not gonna do that for Atlanta. Maybe, maybe Brick Rodeo. I'll, I'll take something. If I do uh, 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 the Virginia, there's so many brick. This brick. Uh, Virginia is. Uh, yeah. When is that? That comes after, doesn't it? Brick yeah. Fair. Brick Fair, Virginia. Brick Fair, Virginia. I might yeah. take something. Uh, so I can't go too far. I can't. I can't take bring okay. mocks too far. So we'll see. Yeah. I'm thinking about building something. <clears throat> small that i can bring with me to these shows just to have something there but uh really i just want to go and meet people and just see what people build that's that's my objective yeah for this year yeah yeah nice almost kind of uh you know move and reset and kind of uh, yeah. and, and, you know, the part of it part of it is you know you said that you mentioned family and mm. you spend that much time i was out there for almost seven weeks with a small group of people in that kind of environment and you become very close to them so i'm also very much looking forward to just spending time with them and with, you know my yeah. fellow mates and oh that's nice uh, mm. so so yeah a lot going on but uh we'll see hopefully i can sneak some mock building in, in between yeah. all these uh, all these events Always we'll see. yeah and, 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 and i do believe there is going to be a season five issue is there not uh i mean i think i, I think don't know I <laughs> I think I think I can I I can I think it's safe to say that yes, there's gonna be. Yeah, I yeah. I, 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 think announced, I don't know if it's been officially announced, but 
Oh, I, I, I've heard. I mean, I, I've not heard through through the the, the 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 our sort of grapevine, the Avol grapevine that there is. But I, I thought that, I thought they sort of said. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah there will be, there will be. They a have season. been commissioned, so that's good. I wonder. I, I wonder who's going to be on here. here. No one calls me. Where we are, we are very, told very often not to say this or not to say that. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 but, I think that's safe to say. I'm, I'm fairly sure from their um, from their Instagram that they said that it's been I think so too. I think they did I'll, I'll tell you this. I'll, I'll say this. They did. They did. They did say they were looking for people for casting of season five. Okay. So, All right. Variety confirmed it. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I think if, if you're okay. <clears throat> Matt, okay. Matt knows yeah. what you can and cannot say. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least so he's, he's like, well, at least could be back on it again. You never know. Uh, <laughs> as a vet, um, I don't know, Matt. Would you, would you would you ever want to go on it or something like that? Because uh, people disappear for a few months and you just sort of like, oh, I wonder what I wonder what they're doing. It's either well, they've been arrested uh, and uh, they've, and they've been locked up. <laughs> Or uh, they're on Lego Masters. Uh, what about you? W w would you ever want to do it? It would be fun. It would be interesting. I have so much going on here that, like, I probably wouldn't want to take so much time out of my life to go and do it. Mm. But it would be a great experience, I'm sure. Hey, Christopher Duckbrick did it. He, he kept filming. He kept shooting. That he guy is five things. years ahead oh, with his yeah. content. He can <laughs> go anywhere, <laughs> anytime. Yeah. What is that all about? I couldn't believe that. That was jaw dropping when I heard that on Cali Brickley. <laughs> He's, he's, he's got mucked up with his date, sure. I think he told me he told me he set up like a fake little living room studio in his hotel room just to keep filming stuff and oh, wow. nobody would know. I wouldn't be surprised. Out. Yeah. yeah he is. But I like to play this little game because I I'm I'm like Drew. I take part of all my builds, all my Lego sets. I just all I see is future parts, and um, I take so what I do I'll take like a set or two or three, and take them apart and put just loose pieces in a bin, and I take all the obvious bits out and yeah. I take a picture of it and then I post it to our season four group chat, and it's, I call it beat the crystal bot and it's like let's see who can and he 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 replies within seconds that's set <laughs> number. Blah, 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 blah. By just seeing like a picture of right. loose parts, yeah, it's it's amazing. He's got this memory that's uh, and it served him well on the show. For those yeah, I, I do that sometimes. Uh, occasionally, uh, Liz will send us in uh, something that she's knolled, and uh, oh, amazing. And, and, like we always try and guess what the set is when mm. when she does it, uh, which is always really really cool. It really is, um, which I love. I think it's it's very cool. All right, cool. So uh, Lewis is uh, is in for an exciting year. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, also, a quick question, Chris. Little, yeah, I got a phone it. call earlier, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, my daughter's waiting to hear back from the school that she applied to, and today's the day. So if I answer the phone and disappear for a second. Uh, yeah, dude. Don't worry about it. It's, it's life. It's like, like I said, like, I've been doing this stream for four years now, and I still managed to cock up the beginning of it. Uh, <laughs> I really did. But luckily, I was here fully closed. <laughs> That's all I can say. Thank goodness for that. Uh, <laughs> could you imagine? Uh, <laughs> you uh, what, be careful what you're doing with wireless mice. That's all I can say to that. We've got Gary out there, all the way from Ireland. Um, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, uh, talking of uh, actually, I can't, I can't use that. As no, a it's not late enough. Uh, guys, how, how are you doing? Anyway, uh, tell us a, bit, a little bit about your week, what you've been up to, uh, with your uh, compatriot, of course, uh, being uh, Ollie. Uh, uh yeah, so we had uh, episode two of uh, Mockheads this week. So we had uh, Alberto on, uh, who's Sky Guy 365. Uh, on YouTube and Instagram, and um, we're just talking all things mock. Um, looking at his frankly brilliant feed mock that he's done, I think he spent all last year doing it, uh, so like 10 months worth. Um, so, like, video series of that and building it all, and all from one minifigure sparked the whole series. It's just absolutely amazing, frankly. Um, I'm still just when we're chatting to him and he's just got this thing in the background and you just think i just want to go in <laughs> go into the mock you know and have a look and have a look at the little techniques he's got in there because he's got some really good techniques like the dome roofs like this archway so yeah we had great fun talking about that on uh, yeah and he was a really good guest as well he's a, he yeah. he was like a really 
chatty guests full of good energy and stuff like yes. that so yeah uh it, it was uh it was a really good episode so because number twos yeah. can always be a bit tricky uh, uh so i've heard yeah that right <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I, i'm trying to be serious and sincere here and uh and Karen, who does number two work for yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> Anyway, but anyway, oh, yeah, Gary, yeah, yeah. uh, guys, you pulled through. That's all I can say. You made yeah, it. Did, yeah. um, you're on a hat trick now. Uh, yeah, well, and uh, lovely marks on the next one as well. So Minar- is- you got Minark. Oh, yep. the, 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 the highs and lows uh, of, uh, of, uh, <laughs> of doing mock print. And uh, <laughs> obviously, another high, Mark. Another high. I didn't think. I didn't okay, thank you. Uh, where was this going? I wonder. Yeah, where's this going? <laughs> hey, well, anyway, let's go to Minark then while we're here. Nice little segue. <laughs> Whew, got away with that. Uh, so Minark, what, what have you what, what have you been up to? And uh, yeah, how's how's your brick tastic? This is I'm going to be asking Ian and Carrie. So, uh, it's still my brick tastic. Yeah, my brick tastic build is behind me, all covered is up it? just in case by accident. Yeah, you ever done a? Yeah, it's about I'd say. Done a, a life size Lego radiator. Is that what you've done? A life size Lego radiator. Is that what that is? Yeah, that yeah, that's it. There. See? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's it's it. got power Sorry, you know, everything, isn't it? <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but you know, oh, not the best. no. Um, that's so I've been thing. building that, um, okay. but I've kept it under wraps because I, I can say what I'm building, but obviously it's done in different styles. So, um, those of you that don't know for Bricktastic, what I do is I essentially, I believe it's called junk build. Um, where you build using just your own pieces that are available, no money spent at all. Um, the modular buildings, so I've done Cafe Corner, yeah. um, and I've also done the um, Brick Bank, and this one this year that I'm doing is the Detective's Office, so um, oh, nice. that's what I'm working on at the moment. Just to show people and inspire people that um, these are amazing builds, um, but you just by using what you've got you can build these as well you can get yourself something that is unique to you and you get to explore using new pieces and new colors and see how things work so it's, it's really fun as well because if you don't have that piece you can find an alternative to use and then discover well actually you can get the same effect by using this piece and, and this as well and it means as well that you're not having to worry about outlaying a huge cost because obviously as we all know the modules are amazing but the more classic ones are now a lot more expensive so um if like me i missed out on quite a few of them it's nice to be able to get the build experience of building them because of course lego instructions are free but mm. i'm doing it with my own pieces so i'm having great fun with that so i'm bringing those along to Bricktastic with me as well as my own i am bringing um what's known as friend square which is essentially um modular blocks of my own um 100 original builds yeah. um that cl- click together uh, mm-hmm. to form a square um and the other thing that makes my builds more unique than others is they are exclusively mini doll populated so you've got this you've got these modular buildings and friends square um all populated with mini dolls um yeah so no, that's good that's good man and like and then, like i'm gonna be doing um i think it's february the 10th i'm i'm gonna be doing a, a friend stream uh with you uh i think yeah. carrie's gonna be there carrie you're gonna yeah carrie you're gonna be there on february 10th um I'm gonna, i gonna believe so okay good stuff yeah, yeah you in don't worry you in your name's down um but yeah I, i'm building i'm building this set that one i bought this this week from leicester square there we go um, oh that's a cool set i don't know who these three are uh leanne uh Louise, or was that Louis or um, Ben? Uh, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, it's a really cool set. I can't believe it. 450 pieces. I mean, <laughs> what? Um, but there we go. And I uh, say 450 pounds, then I was like, what? <laughs> no, I don't know, one day, maybe, but I do like the, the new friend set. They got the they got the uh, the, the big one, uh, the big uh, mansion there as well. Uh, but yeah, this mm. is what I'm going to be building on uh, February the 10th, uh, with a whole bunch of peeps. Uh, that are on doing the build stream so uh I'd, that'll be a good one for the city it really will be so that's kind of exciting so uh uh tune in for that uh in a couple of weeks time folks which is gonna be jolly exciting um sorry Minark, but uh, so back to you mini dolls and i actually quite like mini dolls um yeah absolutely uh, well uh, the thing is as well as when i did it the first time around um i had the cafe corner build that i brought along and then i brought my friend square along to my very first um convention so the red and brick show was the first one i did um and 
I populate with mini dolls and I genuinely was nervous about, you know, how people would feel about seeing mini dolls populate a city and, you know, how would it be taken? But everyone's just super positive. Lego is Lego. And so it was nice to get people's viewpoints and, um, you know, people loved it. And obviously the kids love it. They, they love finding themselves. Um, and because, you know, with the mini dolls um, and the micro dolls as well, um, because they're more expressive in terms of um, the skin tones and the hairstyles and things, children can see themselves a lot better in those figures. And so they look around and try and find themselves and things. Yeah. Um, so absolutely loved it. Um, and the thing is, is that, you know, it's nice talking to A-Files and T-Files um, as well, just kind of seeing them and ask them asking questions. It's just really wholesome as well. But, yeah. you know, when you see the children and they, they, they've got their big wide eyes just looking at the build, spotting all the little animals and things, that that just is the most wholesome thing. And that makes it all worth it. Yeah. Does it? Does anyone else on the panel ever build friend sets or anything like that? Um, uh, Shy, have you ever thought about, I'm going to do a friend's army one day? I will. No, um, we build friends all the time. My, my daughter really loves the mini dolls and she loves all like the Disney ones. So, yeah, we build all the time. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, Matt, has, has, has Lan sent you like, a ton of them to do or anything like that? Because I know Gene's had quite a few to do. No, Maybe no, no. Um, I, I do have I do have a friend set that I would like to build, but haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. I'm looking forward to it, though, actually, which is yeah. kind of surprising. Ooh. All right, February the 10th, mate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to it. It's, like, it's 12, 12, 12, uh, 12 p.m. your time. Uh, just saying, if you want, if you want to do, could it. be fun. Could be fun. Uh, could be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my build streams are completely different vibe as well. They're, they're, I actually build something. I have to get my hands on some bricks, uh, which is kind of scary, but true. Um, yeah, very, very cool. What, what about you, Drew? Um, Drew, uh, if um, if they came out with a, a friend style mini doll for Star Wars, uh, would you go into a meltdown or would you welcome it? Day one. Day one. I want a friend yeah. Chewbacca. That would be pretty oh, cool. Oh, that would be amazing. Be We've had it in every other format. Why not mini doll? Why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it can't be any worse. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think um, I got I got this month's blocks magazine, uh, which I've left back at the house. And uh, but it is out, folks. It, it's ten years since the first Lego movie as well. By the way, can you believe that? Um, and I think they gave it forty. Uh, and basically, the review, the end review was like, don't matter what angle you look at this at, it looks horrific. Um, so <laughs> I was like, oh, that's, that's oh, quite an honest review. It's quite harsh. Uh, uh, harsh Dear words, me. Words um i think graham would kill me if you if you want to say that um but anyway uh it's um yeah he's, he's kind of yeah i i i tell you what if i could have a star wars character in mini doll form uh, give me a princess leia from a new hope uh mm. I, I think that'd be good yeah, she I think that, that could be, she's a disney about. princess she is that's yeah, what i mean it's, absolutely it's the, it's the easy she way she needs the mini doll set oh, she needs the mini doll set oh. Oh, do new <laughs> Queen Amidala in Friends form. That would be the next one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Now you're talking. Very good one. Maybe I've heard her name mentioned a few times now. I got mine out a couple of weeks ago. We get, get she comes out every now and again. Give her a quick flex. Just let people know. Oh, he's got a bit of Star Wars. Uh, but so it gives me a bit of street cred on Insta, and then uh, put it away again. Never to be seen again. Never see the daylight. You know what it's like, folks. You and your Captain Rexes. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what about uh, what about Carrie? Uh, uh, Carrie, if you if, if you don't like Star Wars, you've let Ian buy one Star Wars set in, in his entire... I didn't let him buy it. I bought it for him. Oh, you bought it for him. <laughs> okay, fair enough. She obviously found it uh, somewhere. And uh, it's would the you... only Star Wars set you need. So... Yeah. What was it again? The the, the, the what? What was it? The Ewok Village. The Ewok Village. You don't need anything else yeah. after that, do you? It's, no. it's kind of... That's your, your forest sorted out for your city yeah. and... You know, there we go. An yeah. army can de defeat the Imperials. Strange but true. Uh, but, uh, so he here's my question for you, Carrie. If they did come out with a Star Wars friend set, I want to know what you lot out in the in the chat think about this as well. Star Wars in the form of mini dolls. Uh, would you would you then buy Star Wars stuff? No. <laughs> Can you elaborate a little that bit, please? Easy. I spent about two no. minutes building that up. No. Uh, it's still Star Wars. I, I mean, yeah, if it's still going to be just grey spaceships and what, what's the point? I, I don't, you know. I've not seen Star Wars, so I have no interest in it. So even if they're a friend's stuff, not, not bothered. So, no. 
No. Oh, okay, that's a no. <laughs> that's a no. no. Yeah, that's a no. Uh, <laughs> no, Ian, don't even look at the Star Wars aisle. No. <laughs> oh, all right, fair enough. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Where are you going? Uh, it, sorry, so a couple of weeks ago, I listened to your stream, and uh, you, you asked Ian to mark your new Lego room out of 10 for tidiness. Yep. Now, he, Ian actually returned it and said minus two, which you said was a bit harsh. Um, <laughs> in, my, in my mind, sort of makes oh, it a bit of a tip, it sounds like. But anyway, how's it how's it doing this week, Ian? What, what did you mark it this week out of 10? Uh, this week, uh, it made it up to five. Yeah. Five? Blimey. Really? <laughs> no, then, not nearly six. Yeah, you went so. to say six oh. and you changed your mind, so that's yeah. nearly six and Oh, he does it. Yeah, that's nearly and The only reason he marked it down is because the corner where he looks after is messy. Right? Well, that's not my <laughs> fault. That's your fault. Oh. Blame the contractors. Uh, so, so yeah, all right, five's, well, five, five's good. It's better than, you know, that's, you know, a gain of seven. Um, but <laughs> so, because what Carrie did, the minus two came about like this. So in her Lego room, she had toot all over the place, really did. Uh, even a couple of microwave meals. Don't ask me. But anyway, it's a long story, folks. And, uh, but anyway, they, they were there. Uh, half eaten, and uh, that's but, how you know it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, and so, so Ian said, No, I'm gonna give you minus two, but Carrie's like, But it's clean and tidy. She's but yeah, but all you've done is just put it outside the room, uh, yeah. in a pile, uh, <laughs> you know, not, not, not one pile, <laughs> many piles, no. oh, many piles, no. <laughs> what sort of thing. I do all the Lego to the stairs near the Lego room, ready to take upstairs. It was a lot of Lego. Oh, ready to take. I like that. I, 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 do you do this? I never got another video out of it for taking it up the stairs. It was great. Honestly, I love this. So, uh, so my wife will say, how long are those socks going to be on the floor for? And I'm like, oh, I'm really sorry. So I pick them up and I, I, I somewhere between with the linen basket and, and and where I'm currently standing, I might get halfway and just put them down somewhere. And I always think to myself, oh, I must remember to go and pick them up later. And put them in. I always forget. I, I'm one of these people, and my wife says, "Oh, uh, can, can you can you wash up that the, that plate and, and stuff?" And I'm like, oh, "Okay." And then I put I put them on the sink, and I'll come back. I'll think I oh, will come back to that in a minute and do it. And she's like, "Why don't you just do it? Just do it." And I'm like, "Oh, I'm sorry." Uh, and I remember the one touch. Touch, touch yeah. it once. That's dealing with it. That's it? that's what oh, how I learned because I was the same. And then yeah. And my friend That's said, just operate a one touch policy. If you touch that item, it's got to go to its final destination. <laughs> so you pick it up and you take it. If that means washing okay. up and doing it, you do it. Because you save yourself time because you're going to double up and have to take just as much time that you would have done to do it yeah. again. Yeah, uh, if something's going to take yeah. longer than two minutes, you may as well do it now. That way it yeah. doesn't add up, just like Menard's yeah. saying. Yeah, I, I must admit, I'm like that. If I wake mm. up at, say, half four in the morning, I don't know why, I get the urge, I get excited, I want to wake up and do something. And then I think to myself, well, no, actually, because then I think to myself, I need to have a snooze lunchtime. And, uh, and I'll be like, no, don't do that, Greg. Don't do it. Do it now. And uh, the other day, it was so cold. I had a snooze lunchtime. This is the weirdest thing. I had a snooze lunchtime. And I went, I fell asleep lunchtime. It was only for 20 minutes. It was, it was, it was, it was very nice. But I fell asleep wearing woolly gloves. And I tell you what, folks, I woke up and I thought my hands were, 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 were kind of floating in the air. I couldn't quite feel them properly. It was, it was a really weird feeling. And, uh, but I highly recommend it. I really do. Uh, I mentioned it to my wife. I said, wait, wait, wait. And she's like, don't. She just looked at me strangely. Like she's, <laughs> like, she's got talking eyes. Uh, so anyway, talking so uh, I, I'll never mention it again. Um, all all I can think of now is that it was the Bernie Sanders asleep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's now how I'm imagining you just in that. <laughs> And it, 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 but it was it was really kind of, ian try it uh, you, you won't go back i tell you you won't go back folks it's it will change your lives uh it really will um but, but yeah uh so anyway so we, we've uh well mark's told us a little bit about his um about his mock uh what about you carrie how's your mock for bricktastic coming along uh well it's the same one we took to the last show so it's just over here Ooh. in the boxes <laughs> it's all fine i'm yeah. sure we wanted to add some extra dragons didn't we we do, we do, yeah. I'm not sure if we're going to get that done. Well, we've got we've got a little while. We can knock something up. 
I mean, we have oh, the dragons. We have the thing to hang them from. We just yeah. have to <laughs> attach them, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, okay. you're going to keep that thing in the cave as well? I can't remember where it was yes, now. Yes, please, well, please keep my modification to it, please. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that a modification. I made a modification to it. What was that? It was a chicken, giant chicken. That's right. A duplo chicken. A duplo chicken. Okay. It confused yeah. everyone. They're like, why is there a chicken in the cave? <laughs> like, right. just but you looked not. there, which means conversations begun. It was a conversation yeah. starter. Yeah. And why is, is there it, a duplo it... chicken? Yeah, it's almost, <laughs> all your fault. Just like when there's a yeah, random fun. police box on there as well. That was... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, guess. we we, we basically spent mm. most of most of Steam going round and like in, and putting different pieces on each other's mocks to yeah. try and <laughs> different, different hair pieces on different minifigures. Yeah, some dropping out some of the Doctor Who's for yeah. friend yeah. characters. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. we sick big <laughs> randomly got like mini doll hair and like went all around and yeah, yeah. it was fun. <laughs> it helped like kill it. some time in between. Yeah, well, we're, we're, a month from like today, we'll be there. This is it. It's uh, it's quite exciting. Um, Gaz, are you excited about it? I mean, you, you, your face sort of <laughs> you're dreading it. Um, but what about you know? How how do you feel about it? I mean, you, you, you're quite accustomed to doing them now. I mean, you do a show uh, about mocking and stuff like that. So you you, you got to be you got to come across professional now. You have. <laughs> um, so I am not very putting more pressure on you, but very you know. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. It's I'm I'm not too worried about about it really. It's just the whole transporting stuff, making sure it gets from the car to the hall safely. Because there's a couple of things when I brought it back from Didcot that didn't make it, <laughs> and then I had to remake oh, them, no. which is a bit of a pain. So. Yeah, oh, I, I, I think the best one is Minark. Minark, tell us how, how it went last time. You you you, you ventured out your house with the mop. So so picture so pi picture oh, this. So I've got go. a large box and then a smaller box and then I've got a sack trolley that I've got them all hooked up onto. So I've, I've ventured out. This it's pitch black still, very early in the morning. I've had to venture mm. out. So I'm heading towards public transport, so the bus, because I don't drive. So um, there's already risk number one, taking on public transport. <laughs> no sooner had I stepped, probably like a few hundred metres from the house, there was a dip in the pavement and the box just tipped and fell. <laughs> and oh, no. I was just like, was so, words I, mean, I can't I... repeat on the stream. Yeah. Pick it up. Gosh. hope that everything's going to be fine it'll all come out in the wash put it back in and run to the bus so i run in dragging his truck into the bus and it was yeah it was fairly beat up but thankfully carrying oh. in helped me rebuild it just in time oh, oh, but i've learned i have learned package your mocks well <laughs> stuff them with packaging and everything just either build them to transport them <clears throat> even if that means spending more time when you get there that's my lesson i've learned through advice um or pack well really well and if it make sure there's no room for movement because you know things will break <laughs> could you imagine actually just someone randomly is in a house having a cup of tea uh, early in the morning like, it's dark outside they see some geezer coming along with a trolley going a bit early they would have heard me greg yeah they would have heard <laughs> me. seen it tip over and see you freak out and lose it um, those words are not fit for this stream <laughs> that early in the morning yeah people heard oh, me oh potty mouth mark again oh. potty mouth <laughs> that is fresh pages um so 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 back to you guys then um mm -hmm. so so how's it going then? You, you've uh, have have you got your mock in such a way that you will be able to package it up well and transport? Yeah, it? I mean, I've, okay, I've, a bit like carrying in. I've got some of it is still packed. I've got some of it up there and some of it over there. But I have got to take it apart, just make sure, uh, to take it out of the boxes, and make sure it does all go back together. Oh, yeah. And I need to replace a couple of tiles on it because I don't like the color anymore. <laughs> so I'm just going to change the color as oh, you wow. do. So why not? Well, that's the thing. I mean, I mean, uh, talk about transporting and stuff like that. Mm. Um, Drew, have you, you, do you do displays at shows and stuff like that? So I have actually never had the chance to oh. go to a convention before because I didn't know about the California ones, nor I think I left before they really started happening to my attention. Um, and the first one <laughs> I was going to go to was canceled this a uh, few weeks ago because of oh. too much snow around and people couldn't travel because um, i was going to go to one here locally in chattanooga area um 
And uh, so Atlanta will be the first one ever. And I think I might have missed the deadline to what I could tell. I might be wrong for displaying. So I've never displayed in person. I've only just displayed on Instagram and YouTube. Yeah. That's, what, that's kind of one way of looking at it, actually. Display on Instagram and uh, you don't even really talk about it like that. But anyway, um, got Deathray021 out there as well. Hello, uh, Deathray. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you here. Um, now, shy time is my time. Uh, you you, uh, you had to do a bit of traveling last year with a great big army and uh, one of those great big castles as well. Big one for you, of course, obviously. Uh, you never do things by heart. Um, <laughs> have you got any uh, any travel tips or anything like that? I mean, because you, you, you took it on an airplane. And also yeah, I flew there. with it. And I told the checker, that's a Lego set in there. And then I'm like, <laughs> can, you hang, can you put a fragile sticker on it? And she's like, uh-huh. And she just threw it. <laughs> So, oh my! I mean, you gotta be oh real. It's, it, it's gonna, I hope you videoed it. It's Blimey. gonna, uh, it's gonna break. When you're like, you, like yeah. you just accept the fact that your mm. mock, no matter what you do, mm. no matter how much precaution and prep you do for it, it's gonna break. Mm. So, <laughs> once you accept that fact, you're fine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, my castle, like I made it modular uh, for transport, mm. so. I think like 50% of it was broken. The other one made mm. it pretty okay. It wasn't that bad. I mean, luckily I have my friends to keep me company and like to, you know, during the whole build process. So I wasn't, I just spent the whole day just kind of rebuilding and stacking the figs. So um, the building, the rebuilding the castle part wasn't so bad. That I only took like a couple hours, but. But uh, sorry, what did you, what did you actually check? Two what? Two suitcases? What, what I you... checked in a giant suitcase, and that was the the castle. That was it. So the one thousand one hundred and eighty eight minifigures came with me on the plane. I kept that. Wow. That's like ten thousand dollars worth of minifigures. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm not checking <laughs> that. In. I, if I lose the castle, <laughs> that's you know, that's a grand. I'm fine, <laughs> or a couple grand. That's fine. The minifigs, I will. It's kind of hard to replace, so I kept that on me. Um, but I, I knew, I knew, saran wrapping it was probably the best lifesaver ever. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I, if you're gonna transport it in any way, fashion, I always recommend like saran wrapping it, so you know, because it's gonna shatter. But at least it keeps the pieces relatively close to where it came from. So if you have a very intricate mock, it kind of like you can kind of isolate where your cracks are, and you can kind of like even if it's cracked. You can kind of like smush it together, and then when you unwrap it, you can actually set it into place. So, um, saran wrap and then foam um, as much as you can. But giving it also not this is a this is a thing that kind of is kind of intuitive to, to think about when you're transporting it. Don't really pack it in tight. It needs it needs a little bit of movement to have the friction and and, and inertia like transport from one spot to another. Because if it's really tight as far as you're wrapping one little hit against it it's gonna sh shift right through with that energy and crack yeah. the build yeah. so you need a little bit of wiggle room oh yeah look at that get a proper physics lesson on this show tonight it really yeah. is it's like <laughs> lego physics and transportation well, because because lego like it sits <laughs> tight so but like so if you one little if it, everything's keeping it tight that energy needs to go somewhere and it's going to go through that lego brick and the, br the bricks itself aren't glued together so they're gonna snap mm. Yeah, that's a uh, little little boy. Was you was you because you knew you was going to take it on a plane? Was you considering maybe gluing it and fraggling no. it a little bit? Uh, I need <laughs> those criminals. <pieces. laughs> <So, laughs> yeah, you got to make them earn their money. Yeah, no, no. I, I mean, I, I, I don't. I'm not, not 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 against anyone who does glue it. I know, like Brick Mania with their large large builds that they're going to have mm. as like statues. They like that they give away to like the Navy or a company or a museum, they glue those. So that, cause wow. you, you, it's going to be like, if they accidentally break it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're going to have to call, make you come out to go fix it. But they, they still transport it in like giant foam, uh, like a, like a weapons case. So if you open yeah. it, it's really <laughs> packed in there. Oh no, I've seen what you go around with. You know those black cases? Um I, I use those as well occasionally for oh, the um, case? DR things or and when I used to take uh take things to uh Moscow as well. Straight mm. it's the only thing I could get through uh Yeah. Through I, I, forget. I, story, I know the, anyway. the cases that I use a lot of a lot of people use it for weapons when they travel in the air. Um yeah. so like immediately because when i check in those bags there or those boxes at least in austin um 
coming back and going there. They're like, any weapons to disclose in this? And I'm like, yeah. oh, no, it's all camera gear. Like, okay, cool. We have to check that. <laughs> Awesome. That's about, oh yeah, but it goes through the scanner a couple of times as well. Well, no, I mean you could as long as you're checking it in, you can transport. I mean, based on the laws that you're going to here in the United States, you can check in weapons and firearms. You just have to check it in. Um, and there's there's different precautions per state that's required for the you know TSA to allow it. So like unloaded, locked, has to be inspected, uh, ammunition separated, that type of stuff. So that's how you. That's how like you know security force, security, military, police. It's how they transport their weapons um, on, in the air. Oh, right. Okay. So, and that. they use those cases. They use the cases that I use because yeah, it's very yeah. secure and safe. Well, that's what you use for your equipment, and um, and you've got quite a lot of equipment because I I remember when I I've only ever done this once, maybe twice, uh, when I was setting up a, my room for an interview. I can't believe how long it took to actually set it up. And you did that kind of loads of times when you was in uh, when you was in, actually in Austin as well. But um, but yeah, how did you how did you find that? Did because I, I remember seeing your picture. On Instagram, saying oh, I've got, I think I've got all the equipment I need, and and, and then yeah. five after you've kind of unwrapped it five times and put it back together five times, did it go back as, as neat as before? Are you well? Yeah, yeah. In it's, it, I, I've cut out every single piece to be perfectly like aligned where they're supposed to go, um, just like if it was like a you know a weapon or or, or camera, you know, like a wrapped in one of those cases. So, luckily for me, what I che what I checked in, if it never made it to the destination, I was still fine um because the cameras all three cameras were in, were were on my person the uh the roadcaster was on my person the mics were on my person so i could still function without the equipment it, look if i was going to chicago and lose it it would suck but going mm. to austin with other creators with their own film setup we can make do with none of that equipment with yeah they all have some sort of like contraption that makes their videos uh you know whatever they use so um but yeah it was it was not so bad it was actually as i'm not going to use an air tag next time because i think that was unnecessary stress because mm. <laughs> by the time i got to austin all three of my air tags said it was all still <laughs> in oh, la oh <laughs> and i'm like oh my god yeah. um so <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's just you know how air tags work. Oh, you're 30 meters away, it locks it to where it's at, or was before. Oh God, um, yeah. But yeah, it was. It wasn't. It wasn't that bad. Trans oh. transporting that uh, across the country. <clears throat> well, you did well, and did you get it back? That most importantly, did you all get it back? Yeah, in one everything piece? came back. I didn't lose anything. Um, you know everyone kept their space i mean i know everybody cleaned up right before i got there um so it was very easy to see like if i left anything so um because that's what i was worried about I'm like am i gonna forget something at someone's house uh just because i know how chaotic filming can get i mean we all know how chaotic filming can get like you can have the neatest room then you start shooting stuff and then like a bunch like then your room's all a mess because you have all these wires everywhere like you have yeah. these cameras you have these pot, like, tripods everywhere and it's just like i can't move <laughs> so with their equipment plus my equipment i would i was kind of worried that i might lose stuff but fortunately for me they all cleaned up and i was easy to set up easy to break down very cool all right nice right nicely drilled now i like that you could you can do it in the dark probably now i mean you uh, yeah pretty quick. and they all helped me too i mean they're like do you need help with anything i'm like uh no nah. but they all helped me anyway so it was cool <laughs> yeah so so are you, are you liking the vibe the, the the austin vibe at the moment uh that's going on down there because it seems to be a bit of a youtube i mean i'm kind of jealous that they have that support system yeah. you know like i so we're all scattered all over the world and he, this panel can definitely prove how far we are from <laughs> each other. Um, but fortunately for them, they're like tw five to 30 minutes away. They can really hang out if they really wanted to. Whereas we all have to spend a lot of money to get that same kind of experience. Um, not to say that there's no other creators here, but you know, not none that I'm really that close to as of yet. Uh, but you know, it's, I am kind of jealous that you know they have that down there um and there's only you know a few pockets of that across the u.s let alone anywhere in the world okay. yeah well, what about um what about someone like you lewis have you got any people that any maybe uh former contestants or last year's contestants that were on lego masters that i know you've got a uh, a whatsapp group but are you any that are quite local to you i mean your partner may on the show may may be quite close to you as well yeah, I mean, Alex. Alex lives pretty close to me, but uh, you know, Miami's strange. I, I I haven't figured out why, but you know, I, I traveled around different cities and I see the huge like A4 communities there in Miami. 
Like, there's no the closest lug we have is like four hours away. Uh, there's no. I'm trying to kind of start collecting a falls in the area, but uh, yeah, there's very few, very few. Yeah. Every yeah. time I go, like on the first of the month to the Lego store, and I see like a long line of people mm. outside. I'm like, you build mocks? No, 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 no. Everybody's oh. just there for shit. <laughs> so uh, yeah, unfortunately, I haven't met too many, but there's a there's a handful of us. Yeah, uh, what, but not too many, unfortunately. What about you, Andrew? For Um where, yep. where you where you live? Have you got like a collection of people that are around you, or not? Not, not tons. Places, but... No, I, I've definitely met up with people though in the area. Like, uh, I, I, I mean, Rick, uh, he's come to my house before. We almost yeah. got together at Christmas time. It didn't work out, but I, I imagine we'll get together again soon. Yeah. Um, and then just in Toronto, I, I meet up with some other people here and there. Um, like people that I've like known for over the years, like I got, it's crazy how long it's been now, I guess, like, uh, three, like about four or five years, maybe some of them. Um, yeah. but, uh, yeah, no, not my local area. No, yeah. I, uh, whenever I, like, I like to buy <clears throat> locally, like, and whenever I do and I meet somebody who has a nice Lego collection that I'm buying something from, it's always really like cool to like start like talking their ear off about like new stuff or what they got going on. Yeah. and uh seeing the different things like uh this one dude i met uh he all he does he doesn't actually buy lego sets he just buys bulk and then he goes online uses the instructions and then he just builds the sets like for like a cheaper price so like oh, i got wow. that okay. that medieval windmill uh, windmill off him for 150 he said he only spent 60 bucks on it so wow. uh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. that's a good one so that is a good one but yeah no it. i wish there was more people though for sure definitely jealous of that austin crew that's pretty cool like yeah. they got something, something like that i mean yeah that is that's a, that's a really good kind of uh you know focused area of, of, of people that have got have got them what about you big bods i mean you got not that sam smith not too far away from you have not you yeah he's just around the corner um we we've done quite a lot of meetups down in southampton as well so people are willing to travel because we're so awesome yeah um, southampton area not just us yeah i mean we've also got so there's scaffold which is the south coast afols um so they're they're kind of southampton portsmouth area yeah so they're not a lug but they're yeah they're not a lug they're a group <laughs> they, they like to hang out and so you know we see them at um release days and afol days and yeah. stuff like that so there's a lot of people around as we said, you know, we fed up with Gav and Mark and Tech quite a lot. Yeah, we used to have the brick post, but he moved. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, I didn't know, I didn't realize he was quite he was that close to you guys. Um, yeah, we see him in the um, Lego store all the time. Oh, okay. He's gone to he's gone to Wales now, isn't he? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, well uh, talk about you, ye, uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wells over there. You, you obviously live in Bristol now. Um, and you got high tea yep. toys. Is she quite close to you? Uh, yeah, she's around here somewhere. I don't know exactly. I think she's a bit north from here. Um, but she, I mean, she's always down this area, I believe. Um, when she's not working anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. so she's uh, either goes to the Bristol Lego store or um, the uh, toy shop up the road. Who's got some amazing sets he's actually just posted something today um about he's been getting some brickling quarters to complete some vintage sets and i've oh. got a feeling that one of them is the original el dorado fortress so really i'll be, I'll be watching that store <laughs> like a hawk <laughs> now yeah there's uh, like loads of people that like, put them in like the charity shops and stuff anyway and they don't know the, like the value so they'll just be like oh yeah and they'll be like yeah okay i'll Buy it. <laughs> like, oh, is that the one? Just, car, is it caution? Is uh, that? Caution. 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 Or, or yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I need to go there. I did. I didn't even know that was there when I was there. So when I, oh, I'm yeah, going to be in good. Bath in um, May. So end of May. So I'll definitely be going and having a having a morning oh, yeah. out there or something like that. Yeah, it's just a nice place as well. I mean, you can go there with um, uh, Gemma as well. I'm sure will be all right. It's a nice place. And I think they filmed uh, a new Lady Chatterley's Lover. There oh, did well. they? Okay, yeah. well, that's how I'm going to get her there then. All right, Maybe. that's it. That, that's my approach. <laughs> and I'll pretend. I'll just pretend I didn't realise there was a, a there was a toy shop there or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Oh, oh, I'll I'll do that. That. <laughs> oh my god! How I know that was a yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's hilarious. That's All right, excellent. I'll do it. I'll film it as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, get in there. Uh, I don't know. Oh, what about you, Matt? Uh, where you where you live in Transylvania? Uh, other than sort of <laughs> werewolves and uh, uh, and people dressed as mummies and running around, roaming around, and that you got any content creators anywhere around you as well? 
Sadly, no. I mean, the closest people that I know are like four hours away, three and a half hours. But then again, like the closest Lego store to me is an hour and a half or two hours. But I have three in every direction. So Pittsburgh, Buffalo, and uh, Cleveland. So I have stuff distant wise all around me but yeah nobody that i can really uh connect with for content stuff yeah it's so strange isn't it like we sometimes we're, we're kind of quite silo yet we're kind of all connected like this uh right. which is kind of nice this is kind of why we do it um well what about you Minar? in your neck of the woods you're, you're ready and so you're only just outside london um i know tech used to kind of be in and around where you yeah, are so 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 thomas is is kind of oxfordshire area so not too mm -hmm. far away the 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 advantage of being where i am is essentially the town i live in is a hub to connect mm. to the north and the south and to wales as well so i can pretty much get anywhere um mm. i'm quite fortunate <laughs> but my local um lego store is the southampton store um, just because it's easier and less chaotic to get to. But of course, I do have the advantage of all the London Lego stores. They're literally about an hour away as well. So, yeah. um, and I could be in London in half an hour. So I've got that advantage. Um, so, you know, in terms of content creators and such, it's mainly um, it's mainly the uh, Southampton crew and Gaz. And the thing is, is when we do a four days, that's how we all got together was a four yeah. days. We all went down to Southampton and that's where we started to bond. And our group is getting bigger each and every April day. There's <laughs> new people joining us. So it's amazing. To, I, I will come down. I, I may, one of the April days this year, I will pop down to Southampton because I've never, never been down. I know you to Brighton. Uh... Southampton Lego store. Mm -hmm. They are amazing. Yeah, really amazing. Good. Really, yeah, they are really good. Okay, guys, so I'm yeah. curious, guys, can you tell us a story? Because I think this, <laughs> especially people like Matt and uh, Drew, I think they'll be shocked about this. And this is one of the this is one of the downsides, folks, of us going from uh, plastic uh, uh, jugs uh, to uh, to uh, 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 cardboard. Uh, boxes. <laughs> um, guys, tell, tell us the story. You know where you know where I'm going with this. Well, the uh, the underside, the uh, anti stud, the, the anti stud, the, of, yeah, the, of the, the junk, the negative section. <laughs> the <laughs> negative. Well, yeah. well, no, it's just that when we're in Southampton, I just I just asked him if I could use the anti stud to put stuff in, and they and they were fine with it. So I just filled the underside of it. Yeah. Up so he turns it upside down. Yeah. Puts it fills it up with Lego. Anti fills the anti stud and, and puts tape, tape over it. it. <laughs> you got some no, neck. They let them. So yeah, now yeah. We, do, we, we do it as default now. Yeah. Just like, well, you let yeah. him, so you'll let us. <laughs> yeah. So just started a thing. So, you know. Drew, next time you go to the Lego store, right? I, I don't mm -hmm. know if you've got pap, pap jugs there still or uh, or uh, paper boxes or carpet <laughs> boxes. Um, turn them upside down and put, fill them up and just say to him, can you put some tape over that? Just see what they say. <laughs> right. I've tried oh, it. Just... I've tried it in all the London ones, and they look at me like, uh, like I'm some sort of. That's you know, why you got to come to Southampton. Yeah, They're like, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. They even gave us um, duct tape when they ran out. Yeah. They had like hazard duct. Tape. Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, yeah, they did. Didn't they? Hazard duct. They do whatever they can to help. That was the uh, was it? That was the yellow and black stripe one, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, it's so. Funny. Why are you walking around with something toxic? Oh, uh, it's it's all about those like extra that. pieces. The more yeah. for your money. Yeah, yeah, more exactly. bang for your buck. Uh, yeah, but they're just, you, they got to the point they just give us the roll of tape now when you're there, and you're yeah, like, oh yeah, yeah they just use the roll of tape for us. Yeah. This is like those guys know what they're doing. Yeah. Get some admit, extra tape in for the April day. Yeah. I, I, I got to say this. I got to say this. When when I when I when we had the pub uh, pub jugs because obviously it's all cardboard now in London, um, and I see them taping. I'm like, I'm sitting, I'm, I'm standing there going, that's never going to mold. Mm -hmm. Uh, and in the end, I sort of like say, I say, I say to him, "Don't be shy with the sticky tape." Uh, you, you know, you got you got to do it. You got to do it. Uh, shy, are, are you, you you're in California. Uh, you know, good diets. Uh, you know, get away with the plastics. Everyone drives around in, in uh, battery operated cars, that sort of things. Um, are they uh, are they plastic jugs out there, or are they uh, are they gone cardboard box yet? No, they're all they're all cardboard boxes. Oh, okay. Here. Okay. All right. Good stuff. That's good. I, I do want to say though, it, okay. to, to the topic that we were just talking about with like how you know content creators like near each other, you all, as in not the Americans North in North America, are relatively close to each other. Yeah. yeah. Versus. Yeah. Yeah. Versus my, like all of us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Okay. 
but we don't like we're driving. An hour away. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like, <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> for all of us here in North America, for us to you know say hi to each other, we got to spend like you know a good six hundred dollars <laughs> just Ooh. to fly and yeah, stay. We're there. We don't even want to spend six quid. Uh, you know, no, really, if we, we can avoid six quid, we will. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Lark's like, oh yeah, I can do a fold date. But can, 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 can we do it off peak, please? So we travels a bit cheaper. <laughs> yeah, can we do super <laughs> off peak? Can well, we do split ticket? <laughs> wasn't it like six quid? You can get three bam for that, can't you? Anyway, it's like yeah, exactly. <laughs> see, like... see, Gaz knows how it is. No, yeah, you get. Yeah. I think what's we got some new bam figures out now, haven't we? There's some new ones. I don't think it's been officially announced yet. Well, it has, oh, yeah. but it hasn't. You know, it's, it's just a, the, the stuff is out there, but they I'm, are out. I'm, since Jan 1st. No, I think there's the new ones out. The, the, the February ones that are coming. Hey, there's one with like a... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I haven't even got the Jan ones yet. Yeah, no, I haven't yet, neither. Uh, really, but uh, no, we've got some new ones coming out. Anyway, let's have a look and see what people are building. Uh, Lewis, uh, you've got the, um, uh, the the auspicious, the audacious... Uh, auspicious dragon. The, the dragon, the, yeah, that's it. Ninjago, oh, nice. monkey kid. I'll, I'll get there eventually. I can't oh. see that. It does not look like a dragon to me. And no, so... this is the base. Oh, okay. I guess I'm starting on the dragon now. Oh, but it's big, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's so cool. Oh, I've got a bit larrikin out there. Good day, mate. Happy Australian Day for yesterday, fruit, uh, dude. Hope you had a top one. Um, uh, what do you think of it so far, then? Uh, Lewis? It's it's what nice, nice little build. It's uh, very sturdy, very well constructed, and uh, I, I do like the water. Kind of the water effects mm. here, guy. I don't know. Is, yeah, water, I guess. Really cool. oh, yeah. oh, it looks really take nice. note, guys. Take note. I do like that. That's look. I don't know. If you, I think, I just think to myself, if you look, it looks like one of those e day landing boats. Uh, <laughs> if you take away then gold, well, I, don't think it's I, mean, I think it's gonna be a rock. <laughs> Can anyone see that as well? Like a D day landing, I'm like yeah. Yeah. now, <laughs> yeah, right. just saying. Uh, brick mania, uh, you know, one out there for them. Uh, anyway, just saying, just saying. Uh, what about uh, the. the where else can we go? Who else is building stuff? That's it. I'm trying to see who's eating as well at the same time. Uh, Carrie, <laughs> you guys are you're always uh, eating and not up eating. Teddy yeah, cakes and stuff like that. Oh, we got there. What, what's that? This is the, the like slope. Oh, thing. you can hold it quite up. Have you moved your camera down or something? Well, yeah, we're, it's a smaller table so I can reach further. <laughs> what I'm today. It's, that, yeah. it's, a, it's got to be a friend set. Is that a friend set? Of course. I showed, I showed you what I was doing. <laughs> Short time memory. People, just, it. <laughs> people tune in. We've been streaming for nearly two hours. Uh, all right. Very nice. Uh, it was good. And the machine in like Yeah, that's nice. All right. Are you enjoying it so far? I am, yeah. Uh, I've also enjoyed Ian's turtles because look how cute they are. Turtles. You like Ian's turtles. What the yeah. what? Oh, I know. Uh, Ian. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, actually, I'm not going to go there. Yet. Uh, <laughs> what is that? Is that, the, what is that a boat? Is it? Yeah, it's like a ship. Yeah. that could be a spaceship. Yeah, it's like the police boat. Yeah. Is it? No, not yeah. police boat. It's the rescue boat, isn't it? Oh, it's yeah, it's not a rescue boat. Like, like, like a little. Is it a nail shark thing? That's it. Um, then yeah. That looks weird. Oh. <laughs> You've got very large hands, haven't you? Uh, and then, oh, the little, that, oh, is that is pretty cool. They're just yeah. taking it out of their coral set. Uh, yeah, we'll be coral <laughs> <laughs> straight in, that is. They're not even going to mock it. They just put it straight in there. Yeah. That's how it works. That's it. That's it. That's <laughs> the mock. That's the 2025 mock, isn't it? That one. Yeah. Uh, I like Spoilers. That. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Oh, should we do that? Should we, do, should we have the PMQ? Should we have this week's PMQ? I think I think we should, don't you? Yeah. Uh, cool. I, I try not to, I'll try not to press the button on this one. But anyway, this week's PMQ, <laughs> PMQ has been brought to us um, by uh, Gazza's other half uh, in the uh, in, in the, 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 the mock heads. I, I always go to call them a couple of mock heads. I don't know why. Did you call yourself that in the first place or something? And then uh, no, and no, then... no. I think this is all Greg. This is, that's all Greg. Is it all me? I, so, yeah. I, I thought a couple of mock heads. Oh, that's, that's, that's bit, it sounds familiar. That does. Um, but anyway, okay, cool. Well, this is this has been brought to us uh, by Ollie, uh, aka Brickerskew, and. Um, like I say, folks, if any, if anyone would like to ask a question, all they've got to do is just film yourself and, you know, connect to me and we can chat about it and stuff like that. It's really easy. Uh, no frills. Just ask us all a question. Anyway, 
This question comes to us this week from Brickaskew, and he asks the following question. Hello, this is Brickaskew. You can find me on Instagram and on the Mockheads YouTube stream. This week, my question for Greg and the London Calling, Calling panel is, with LEGO convention season starting up, do you have a favourite kind of build that you like to see at these conventions? And if so, what is it? And with that said, over to you. Right, thank you very much for that, Brickescu. Uh Do check him out, folks. Uh, he's a good lad, and uh, he does stream every other week with our good friend, Minifig, who as well yeah. over there on Mockheads. Uh, so where should we go first? Uh, well, we, we've still got Andrew with us. Uh, he's not being disconnected yet for not paying his no, internet we're bill good. this month. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's uh, let, let's start there. So, okay, we're, we're coming up to convention uh, season. Uh, what sort of uh, what sort of things do you do you look out for uh, these things, uh, Andrew? Uh, well, like you, anything that's huge usually kind of catches your eye. Like uh, anything that stands out, like that, because you don't really see that very often, especially because like Lego is like small bricks typically, and when when people get the uh, big uh, collabs together. That's pretty cool. But I, I like movement. I, I like, you know, I'm like kind of also like old school. I like trains. So uh, mm -hmm. I, I remember last year or two years ago at Chicago, there was a really huge train um, mock going around. I don't know if there's a few different cities or not, but it was like oh. a, they had a, they had like a downtown area. They had a, uh, a rural area. They had like a Western kind of area. And I know that was I liked that a lot because just seeing the trains moving around in the different areas was really well, really, uh, really highly uh, detailed. But so I'll stick with those. But there's there's so many to go with. It's, it's unbelievable. OK, if, good stuff thing, if you can get to one, get to one, because I, I went to one for the first time two years ago. And it, yeah, after watching them on the YouTube, like the seeing the walkthroughs, it's it's not the same as being there. It's really cool. Yeah, no, it is, it is really cool. And there were some through. phenomenal trains last week at uh, <laughs> in the Australian Melbourne uh, convention. That was amazing. That really was. Um, where should we go next? Uh, let's go to Minark, actually. Minark, um, so, so what, what, do you, what sort of stuff do you look forward to at uh, these sort of brick conventions? So two things, really. So um, I love the steampunk era. Whenever people do anything to do with steampunk, nice. I think it's yeah. phenomenal, like how they can take that, that era and just make it into something. I've seen some absolutely amazing um, steampunk themed mocks over the uh, years that I've gone to conventions, just phenomenal. And the other one is, it's going to sound really silly, but I love the du the ones that they use Duplay for. So when we were in, um, when we attended Steam, mm. uh, there was actually a Duplo city. Somebody had built a city in Duplo, just exclusive mm. Duplo, and it was phenomenal. Oh, it was yes. amazing. You just got to see so many creative Duplo pieces being used. Um, and, you know, when you think about it, you think, oh, it's, it's Duplo, but it was phenomenal. It was just absolutely amazing. Yeah, Very that's really cool. Yeah, Duplo stuff. I, I think Duplo is underrated. Uh, I mean, I'd like to do so. I'd actually like to do a Duplo stream, but I think it would be quite a short one, to be honest, because uh, <laughs> you build them so quick. It's done. I'm, I'm literally scared to do it. I, I think I just chat for it most of the time and then build it in the last 10 minutes and wind down the street. Then. Still make uh, it a two-part, Greg. Right? Come on, you've got to stretch that content. Two-part. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm not on Twitch. I'm on YouTube. Here we're professionals on <laughs> Excuse YouTube. Excuse me. You've done multiple streams building like, I don't, I don't wake up as a Twitcher in the morning and think, oh, I'm going to stream today. Uh, I'm going to build a nine pound Lego city set. <laughs> oh, I get about four streams out of that. I will. Uh, I don't know what you lot are I like. don't know that person either, Greg. <laughs> Honestly, folks, Twitch, they, they, they milk it like you wouldn't believe. Uh, they really do. They do not. And, uh, <laughs> 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 all bells and whistles. Uh, I love it. I'm only kidding. Uh, good stuff. All right. So, Minark likes, uh, likes the Duplo uh, and he likes the Steampunk. I think Steampunk is a, is a really cool yeah. one, my friend. Um, this goes to Shy Time. Shy. You're going to you're going to a brick convention. You've seen some you've seen some uh, action in your time. Uh, what sort of stuff do you look forward to there? As well as the people, of course. What what sort of mocks do you look forward to seeing? So what I really look forward to now after seeing so many, um, it's more of like a like when they shut the lights off and see who has it lit up. I think when they like the the the. Yeah, World of Lights for, for Chicago, but like other conventions all have like the same thing. They'll shut off all the lights and whoever has that element in there, they really like 
give them that time. So anything with lights and or anyone that uses a screen. I remember in Chicago, you had the, uh, I mean, everyone's seen it, but uh, New, New Hiroshima. Yeah, yeah. So the big the big uh, cyberpunk building. There was so many to- like little iPhones or screens that were used to display, you know, whatever movies they wanted to play on that to kind of give you that more city vibe. But they weren't the only ones that use a screen. There were other like mocks that used something as well. Like there was the, the I Love Lucy one. Oh, my God. It was a little television set with... <laughs> With I Love Lucy playing in that little TV that was made by a custom company, like so, when they use tech in a visual way that kind of amps the, uh, the the build, it I, I get joy out of that. I, I, I have to say, um, just kind of expanding on what you've said, Shai, I do like to see something that I have never seen before. Last week mm-hmm. um, at uh, Big Benchon, we had uh, Johnny Chen uh, oh. with the with the Golden Dragon. Nice never dragon. seen anything like it. And I think that was beautiful. It is, and he 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 he'll be on in here in a couple of weeks as well. And uh, I'm really looking forward to kind of finding out the, 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 a little bit about the build process, um, the set itself because it's two meters in size and it looks gorgeous. Like anyone, I think anyone would love to have that as a display piece in their house. Or <laughs> you know, it, it was, it's just brilliant. It just looks great, and it's different. It's so shockingly different. And when you see something like that, you sort of think. Oh, wow never seen that before and that's good because you know and everyone feels it as well because like shy said we do see a lot of the same stuff or we see the same stuff reinterpreted which is always good it's great but when you see something fresh and brand new and immediately we will warm to it that's kind of that's quite a nice feeling as well i think um let's go up one let's go let's go to matt uh what about you matt do you, do you go do you i mean some people don't necessarily go to brick conventions and that which isn't a, a, a thing uh, you know isn't a bad thing or anything like that um but when you go to them if you've gone to them uh what uh what sort of stuff do you look for yeah no i went to chicago and virginia for the last few years and then some smaller ones over in new york uh which are more close by but to echo what you were just saying like i love seeing the new stuff um yeah. whatever you know, just kind of sparks imagination and creativity is what's exciting to me. But also, I still like the old stuff. I I love Star Wars as well and other movies. So to see something familiar is always nice, yeah. um, whether that's a reinterpretation or maybe something that I've already seen online. But then again, in person, that's a whole other experience. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I just I like also talking to mock builders about what they've built whether it's big or small and having them explain to me their process and why they made some of the decisions that they did to get that level of insight because normally you can't do that online but in person you have that insight you have that extra opportunity (laughs) yeah yeah and 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 genuinely people really warm to that as well um i I mean carrie you're like when i listen to your podcast that you always seem to be interested in the parents and the and the children that are chatting with you about what you've done and why you've done it and stuff like that. Do, do, can you talk a little bit about that at all? Well, just because the kids are always different at every show, so you don't run out of the awe that they see in your in your build. They come up and their face, yeah. like certainly with ours, because they're big and bright and colourful. They see them from across the, the room, and you see their face already, like, and it's just it, it's nice for you, mm. but then they'll talk to you and they know quite a lot about the things you, you put out. So with our L's one, we just got an L's expert. She was just amazing. Yeah. And you can just see their pattern as well. So it's, yeah, it's really lovely. Yeah. And it's, it's cool. It's really, it is, it is fascinating. It really is. Um, Drew. Now I'm, I know this is uh, this year is going to be the first time you've displayed. Have you been to other brick conventions before and stuff like that? And thought, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to seeing this type of build or something like that uh only through the eyes of beyond the brick have i been to a convention so um yeah Joshua. i am i'm I, right <laughs> i'm uh i'm very excited uh obviously star wars is a is a go-to for me and uh castle but i think the the realistic look of things is what really draws me in so anything close to realism and how something is built will always catch my eye and so um so yeah I'm kind of I'm kind of excited. Castle, uh, New City, and uh, Star Wars will 
will be big yeah no no that's really cool uh i'm really looking forward and i hope you do take and turn your phone on occasionally when you're there and do yeah. some filming because i'd really like to know how you how you feel about it and Definitely. think about it as well i think that would Definitely. be kind of uh a, a kind of your first kind of look and being at one of these conventions i think yeah it, i think it'd be pretty cool i really do. I, i'm stoked because i've only i've only really been able to see my own mocks unless they were at at lego so i'm uh i'm excited to see what other people have in store to show off yeah yeah cool man uh i like that uh, reaction video is very very cool yeah uh, what, what about you lewis you, you're going to be going to a few this year um, what, sort of stuff, uh, what sort of stuff do you look for i mean you built some you built some massive sets in your time um what sort of stuff I, you uh, know I, I i like minifig builds i like minifig scale i like storytelling with minifigs so anything that that really tells a good story that's that's what catches my eye yeah um that's what i kind of tend to gravitate to i also love seeing parts usage like stuff that's like when people use parts in a way that yeah, like but i never thought about that that blows my mind too so and i always find that very inspiring so uh i like good stories and and i like good technique so uh always always willing to learn some new techniques from watching other people's looking at other people's mocks so uh but yeah, yeah storytelling that's my thing storytelling storytelling oh i like that um have you seen have you seen the golden dragon as well uh that was uh kind of yeah, yeah not in person unfortunately but yeah pictures and it's amazing and i'm mm. i'm dying to see uh what's beneath all those scales so to speak mm. it reminded me of uh i, I don't know, his name, Sten, oh, I, know. Sten, I think his i think his instagram is stands by lego he did that chicken uh Using the the two by two round tiles as the feathers. Oh, right. Saw that one. Oh, it's, oh, you gotta check it out. It's amazing. It's uh, the whole the whole body of the hen is two by two round tiles with little uh, what do you call it? little arms? The little I think they're uh, little what? robot arms. Oh yeah. Like you mm -hmm. can't see it's clipping, but you don't see the robot arms, right? They're all connected to a flex tube skeleton. Oh, okay. all, you see, all you see is a two by two brown round tiles and they yeah. look like feathers really amazing and I, I'm, yeah. I'm assuming there's something similar going on with this dragon yeah. in the terms of the technique but... <laughs> have you not seen the inside it was on um was it new elementary it's the... new elementary i think it's one where he lifted elementary. a couple he lifted a couple <laughs> yeah, there's, glasses. Yeah. there's um another I, video i, I want to see, right? see a picture without the scales i just want yeah see there's there's the um another video oh, doing the rounds as well there is um, yeah yeah there, there is all all taken off, where, where they kind of do um Oh, what do they call it when they kind of cut a, a, a cut section of it or something like that? There's a. Yeah, I'd love like to see that. If you guys know where, if you, guys, if you guys find that again, please send it my way. Yeah, I'll send yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, folks, uh, we got we got we got a, a few of uh, Aussies coming on in a few weeks. Donnie Chen's one of them. Fleur's going to be coming on as well. She was a contestant on Lego Masters Australia, uh, and of course Helena will be joining us too. And that's just coming up. In a couple of weeks so that's gonna be a good one to look forward to um delicious foods uh is this going to be uh my first convention this year uh, i want to know what you guys think about all this as well out there in the chat super important that uh a tech made me laugh as well when i asked the question what, what do people look forward to uh he said uh, see, see one of his mocks uh <laughs> oh, no, i'm only joking i can't wait to see it actually and i know tech's doing a really special one this year with uh yeah. sam and all the rest of his uh, luck as well, which is going to be exciting. Uh, it's going to be so. Delicious food says uh, it's going to be my first convention this year, and, uh, and I'm showing it, showing in it too. Oh wow! Uh, Brick Rodeo uh, in ATX. Uh, I better get to work. Honestly, I'll, I'll be there. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Oh wow! Yeah, no, no, no pressure. Delicious foods. Um, but anyway, and, and he gives us uh, five dollars as well, which is super <laughs> exciting. So I really appreciate that. Good luck as well. Um, and again, let us know what you think and take some pictures. And please, folks, by all means, send me pictures at any time of the week as well. Delicious food. I'd love to see pictures of your mock as well. Um, that would be pretty damn cool. But anyway, for that, my friend, I think we'll have a little bit of the old autopilot. Ooh. Automatic pilot.
phenomenal. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, he is a phenomenal. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we've got Danny <laughs> Dyer up there as well. He's out there. He says, uh, tickle me tadpoles and call me Susan. God bless you, Danny. Uh, <laughs> give my love to your missus. I mean, uh, anyway, let's go, let's go oh, north nice. a little bit. <laughs> uh, Gaz, um, yeah. so tell us, you go to brick conventions mm-hmm. and that. What sort of things do you look forward to seeing when you go there? Um, there was two things really. I mean, one, Oh, pirates, anything pirates. And I'll be like, oh, brilliant. And I just like having a look, see what they've got on there, what animals they've got on there, maybe what techniques they've used. Because sometimes you get you know, like they've done the entire sea with like all the different colours, you know, the gradient of the sea or the washing up on the boats. And then there's all sorts of stories, you know, people being chucked on the plank and fed to sharks or whatever. So that's always quite cool. Um, but then I also just like the unexpected as well, because you'll see something that yeah. you would never have thought of in a million years. And you were like, that's really cool. Like, I mean, it's not in a convention, but I saw online um, someone had made like a Galaxy, Galaxy Explorer ship and they had a human sized Lego mug in the middle. So that was, <laughs> it was just, just looks really cool. So it's stuff, stuff like that that's just, you know, you're not going to expect to see. I love it. It's really cool. And it's yeah. just so inventive as well sometimes. Is, is there one that sort of sticks in your mind that you've gone to in the last few years? Because you've been to quite a lot actually. And you thought, uh, oh, I really like that. Or is there any sort of particular mockers or anything like that that you would uh, you kind of instinctively follow to just sort of well, see what I they're mean, doing? I think the one that stands out was um, that was unexpected. I mean, there was actually a couple. There was one that was just like, it's just very small. They had like um, these little scenes from video games, which which was really cool. And it was like, oh, wow, that's really cool. I know what that is. That's really, I love it. Because they just managed to convey like a particular scene of a game in such a small little story and it was really good um yeah. but then the other one i liked was um in steam they had that this row of houses and it was like disney princesses off duty so it's like on one end you had some like amazing. the disney studios and it was like when they finished work they kick back in their like, slobbies and their trackies and stuff so you'd have like i don't know i think elsa was making some ice cream for someone or something and just all in their front gardens and it was such an re- an idea that I haven't seen done before, but it's really effective. So I yeah. really enjoyed that one. Oh, they're very cool, my friend. Uh, very, very cool indeed. Um, we've got two for the price of one here. Uh, Carrie, Car- uh, that could be the call, Lewis. That could be the call. Uh, there he goes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Brick bots. Okay, so tell us, uh, you, you go to a brick convention. You guys go to loads of brick conventions. Um, you're virtually touring the country. Uh, yeah. What sort of stuff do you look for? Or what do you look forward to seeing when you go there? Anything in particular? I'm always looking for colourful things. I like colour. Yeah. Um, I'm also looking for things that move. So like interact, like motorisation stuff. I think that's all super cool. Oh, yeah. um, so specifically GBCs. I, I absolutely love GBCs. I'm surprised nobody has mentioned. That. I can't. I've got it written down here. <laughs> Motorising. I've got like it here. The best thing ever. Love and them. It, they're just so much fun because even if they are the same like modules that you've seen before, you can still just watch them just go around. And it's the noise. <laughs> I love the noise. Um, mm. But then like the, like what content I like to see, it's kind of like fantasy, cutesy stuff, but, like that little mushroom people, that kind of stuff. Um, little worlds inside <laughs> bottoms of trees and stuff. That, no. that kind of stuff I like. Uh, someone like Ian, basically. You know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's a Russian person. Really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's, he's a fun guy to be with. Oh, yeah, he is. No. He's a fun guy. You're right. Come yeah. on. Boom. <laughs> but I, I, I like the one where the more you look, the more you see. That's the Mushroom. kind of thing. So the, the, the builds where you stand in front and you think it's one thing and then you keep looking and you see that other detail and that mm. other detail and but that's what I like about the shows. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Like that. The devil yeah. is in the detail for Carrie. Yeah. Um, what about for Ian then? Ian? Uh, ooh, so, I cool. mean, I, I really like the more kind of organic set. So, you know, obviously we've got the coral reef. I really like seeing how other people have done coral reefs, or there's quite a number of like the kind of fantasy, fairy kind of woodland scenes. I always like those because. I always find that you've got more interesting techniques having to be used. Yeah. You know, building a building out of bricks is fairly standard. Mm. So, you know, for a lot of that. But as soon as you're getting into the weirder shapes and the angles, mm. that's what I find it's like more interesting. So, and those 
tend to be on the more organic ones. And the other thing that I really like, which Carrie disagrees with, brick built animals at minifig scale. So I mean you can get well, that's them quite tough, isn't it? Yeah. It it can it depends on the animal. But so I, I just tend to prefer that rather than molded animals because I tend to think Playmobil does molded animals and so they, they can keep <laughs> them. Lego stuff should be built out of bricks. Oh, that so. that raises a very good question, Ian. <laughs> that really does. Right, we're gonna have to go around the panel on this one then. <laughs> right, because I know <laughs> I know why the panel. Yeah, All the folks say no, yeah. everyone we, but Ian. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we can't ask Andrew because Andrew's dealing with uh, some some messy business at the moment. Uh <laughs> Minark, given the choice, what would you rather have? Uh molded animals or brick built animals? Molded animals. Yeah, straight in there, he didn't even he didn't yeah. even quiver. Straight, he very quick no. answer for a Twitter. Yeah. Molded <laughs> animals. Only gives about the molds are amazing. Like yeah. we've seen over the last few years, the animal molds have been amazing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, molded yeah. all the way. So I want to know what you lot out there think about this as well in the chat. Uh, shy time is my time. Uh, shy, what would you rather have? Uh, give me the opportunity. Uh, molded, molded. molded. <laughs> I have like. 500 horses. I don't want to build all them. Classic <laughs> Park, right? I don't oh, want yeah. built dinosaurs. I want the yeah. molded ones. Yeah, that's true. You that's can make good. like hybrids and cool looking things. I don't yeah, no, good point. All right, Ian's in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't, do, 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 you're going to do well out of this one, Ian. Uh, Matt, what, what would you rather have? Okay, now, bearing in mind, you know, there's the Lego thing going on here as well. What would you rather have? Um, molded animals or brick built animals? Without question, 100% of the time molded yeah yeah definitely especially i love my star wars creatures too much uh yeah. the rancor the wampa the dewback they're all spectacular yeah, yeah. now th th there is a i've been asked in this since day one since the day i got into doing the uh, in lego full stop really i always thought it'd be quite nice to have a ucs sound barge you never know it might happen one <laughs> day but all i would say is could you imagine the meltdown that would go on if we got like a, a brick built jab of the hut I mean, I don't even think it's possible to be honest, folks. It'll be like some strange conceived brickheads. No, uh, no, no, no. We want, we want human Jabba. A human Jabba. Oh, blimey! That, dude. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's we want a good human. We're, sorry, I just put blank in our show. No, shut up. We're, we were talking about on that show is like. How cool would it be? It would be piss off a lot of people yeah. after <laughs> you know born in 1999. But like if you were if you were <laughs> let's do it, let's do it, let's just do it. <laughs> if you knew it, if, if they put a human Jabba Jabba on the on a sail barge, <laughs> like that's kind of <laughs> genius. Dude, it would be great. It, it would be because it'd be hilarious. Well, first of all, it would have got, <laughs> like got around that horrific scene where Han Solo walks over and comes down and like a da, 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 like that sort of effect of him <laughs> going up and over him. It's, it's like ah! uh, I can't watch that. It's like no. Um, and it, yeah, dude, what a great idea! But they can do it now. What well, I'm saying is, again, it's all rumors. It's all rumors. They, they don't have to make a new mold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Theoretically speaking, but yeah, they would. <laughs> we could have it in if there was such thing as a Star Wars "What If" or something like that. I don't know. It, it, you know, uh, Dark Grey or something like that. Could you imagine? What a great idea! Feed it back, Matt. Feed it back for us. Uh, you know how it goes. Um, uh, okay, so so um, uh, Drew, what about you? Are you one hundred percent molded? The I, maybe maybe little birds could be brick built, but. Like I've seen some good ducks and some good swans, but other than that, molded is 100% of the way to go. Like, how are you gonna do a a little rat or a little mouse? Like, is that just a one by one, one by two plate kind of stacked on top of each other? But so I'm 100% molded. Yeah, you could use your use your you could use your imagination, Billy. Use your imagination. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the not the three in one castle has a really good brick built mouse. It's just really? one piece. No, no, I didn't build it in mine. But... <laughs> <laughs> all six of mine, I didn't build any of them. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at this. Here, flex, flex. There, there it is. Oh, oh, look at that. How can that you go wrong with flex. that? You can't. Oh, awesome. look at that. Oh, that is a flex. Oh, this may, oh, sorry, I've got to make it bigger because that is big. I have actually seen some brick built ones of these, and they are actually quite good. 
But the, even the thing is, without with that, uh, careful, remember. Matt. Yeah, they, 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 watch those <laughs> fingers, blimey. Um, they, those fingers are worth about 20 pounds each. They are, yeah, don't break it. Stop moving it, just put it down. Uh, <laughs> we're good, we're good. <laughs> Get that brittle it, brown it, out of here. He does, he's, 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 oh. just, just put it behind you and just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. We could do another one of those, just say, uh, there no, we go. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, brick animals are cool. Like I'm, I'm just being, being mean. But, but I, <laughs> I know, no, I agree. It's, it's nothing. This it, is just a bit of fun. This is. Um, uh, uh, Louis, if it's you? organic, I want a mold. <laughs> <laughs> it's organic. All right, that's that's pretty much everything then. Uh, okay, so what about you, Louis? Um, are you a, a brick built animal fan? Uh, definitely, you, definitely, mold. definitely molded. I, you know, I was the kind of kid though that my GI Joe never mixed with my, with my Star Wars figures. Like they never met. Like I was very, and I feel that way about my minifigs. Like when I get those like uh, creator sets that are like minifig buildings and stuff, and it's got minifigs, but then you have like a brick built parrot or a dog. Like it just, yeah, doesn't work. No, it's kind of like want, if I'm gonna have figures. I want figures. If I'm gonna have yeah. brick built. They should have brick built characters as well. So yeah. I do um, like that idea, though. Yeah, what a, I tell you what, uh, Lego May the Fourth. Because uh, let's face it, it's all it's all Lego fans want on May the Fourth uh, as a gift we purchase is a is a, is an exclusive minifigure. And I tell you what, that Jabber would be really good. Uh, yeah. It really would be. It's a great idea, Shy. That is. That's, that's <laughs> like I've always. If I could have one Lego minifigure that they've never done yet, it'd be Galen Urso. Why they haven't done Galen Urso yet is, is beyond belief. <laughs> He's the guy that basically came up with the plan of how to destroy the Death Star, but they haven't done him yet for some reason or other. Um, I can't think why. Uh, it's a great actor as well. Mad Nic I know it's Mads Nicholson mm. as well. Love him to bits. Um, anyway, someone else I love to bits as well is called Gaza. Uh, Gaza. Oh, so come on. <laughs> you're, you're, you're like, uh, you know, king of the mock worlds these days. Um, what's, um, <laughs> what, what, would you, what would you rather have? Uh, brick built animals or uh, molded animals? Um, molded, <laughs> just yeah, I, I think I, I think he's, on him, no. he's completely on but, his own, yeah. But then, if they're not minifigure scale, like the giraffe that the guys built is actually really, really good to look at, but that's not minifigure scale, so molded, <laughs> awesome, good stuff. All right, molded as well. Uh, so here, Carrie, here we go. Carrie, I've got, I've got to ask you, bearing in mind, you know, where you're at and stuff and, you know, <laughs> who you're married to. The fact that I prefer molded, but I'm not against the, the brick built ones. Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes it's a really good technique and it, it does work. I just think you get a nice cleaner line on the, the molded ones. So, go on, show but, your so, example. Yeah. So, here we go. So, oh, these right. are the turtles from the set that I've just built. All right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and if you like see turtles. those, okay, if you see those on the floor. Yeah. They don't look like Lego. They do because yeah. they're Lego. Well, they're, they're... <laughs> yeah, you can see the anti stud, and that's it. You yeah. Know. yeah. So yeah. if you see that on the floor, that could be any toy from the kids. What? Uh, like? Uh, I, could it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, GI oh, right. Joe. Uh, all right, come on. In. Uh, what's that? This is obviously a <laughs> It's a spaceship or something, isn't it? Yeah, it's a turtle. <laughs> it's a turtle. <laughs> it's from um, is, it, is it Ian? Is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there's the baby turtle as well. If I, if I was a judge, I'd throw this out. Of court, I think yeah. I, I think those are awesome. I just I no, would they want, are good. I would want those These to go are... with. I would like those to go with brick built characters instead not hmm. not many yeah. things like, in, like in legoland i would expect yeah. their animal yeah. 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 yeah like discovery <laughs> centers legoland yeah. when you have brick built humans um yeah the brick built animals it, it, it works very well with each other i think avatar had a nice balance with molding with the heads mm. of the creatures oh, and yeah. then brick built oh, bodies yeah. and yeah. the wings were vinyls for some of them that yeah. that theme did it very mm. very well same like yes. Minecraft, oh, where yeah. they use molded heads a lot of the times, and then they finish out with the bodies. I mean, it fits because it's that yep. square mm -hmm. look anyway. So, yeah, and and Shy's latest uh, podcast is 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 quite heavy on the old Minecraft side of things. 
Uh, it really Minecraft. is, uh, which is which is. Yeah. Really <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it was. It's Minecraft. It's, it's Minecraft. Like, it's, <laughs> well, hold on. I need to know. Why, why did you decide for that episode? Was it because you've never built a Minecraft set before? Well, what he's he needed about? help to build because one of his videos is I have every Minecraft set or something like that. Um, yeah. and he needs help building them. I'm like, while I'm there, I'll build a bag. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and, well, I mean, the premise of the of, of the topic was like, you know, being reaching like a million views in a video. Like, what does it entail? And Minecraft is just one of those themes that if you make a good video on it, you're going to get a million views. Yeah. So, you know, that that that, that type are you, of Are you suggesting we should all do Minecraft now? Then, it has to be packaged and delivered a certain way. <laughs> so, just FYI. Right. Can, uh, I could can't reveal Minecraft set and expect to get a million views. No, there has I to know. be. A, there needs to be a topic and it has to look a certain way and that type of feel. All right. Maybe I should just try and copy someone or something like that. But you want a million new video, get a train, go around your house and just let it play over and over again. <laughs> do you know what? I might do that. Uh, oh, Drew. Uh, I think Drew just might have had an accident. Uh, yeah. My tree Drew. fell again. Oh, oh Drew. Went. <laughs> oh, Drew. Uh, all right. Drew's just putting it back together again. Um, but yeah, the Minecraft thing is very good. Uh, Shite, the the one thing I, this is the part I got to in the review. I thought, I thought, oh, I might, oh, I must, uh, I must pause it there because I want to really listen to that. And that is, um, you were talking about uh, reviews and stuff like that, and he kind of suggested that maybe uh, do short reviews, uh, and that's exactly what I do: the good, the bad, and the build. Mm. Uh, that, that that's my, I love that technique that I do. Uh, it kind of works for me uh, because it doesn't take up too much time, and I get to be very very short and sharp with, uh, with 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 my script to be honest um what do you think about that reviews i mean are reviews dead or something am i, am I just... dead they're just a lot of people do them so it's just uh, yeah. it's either you do them really well well i'll use tiago as a perfect example of that yeah. um you do them really well or you take a real interest interesting spin on it like what josh build stuff does so but then you're not really heavily reliant on the set. You're more on the personality. Whereas when you're reviewing, it's mainly less of your personality and more of the information you're getting. So in the realm of like reviewing, you need to be straight to the point, like get to the point. Let me see this. Okay, cool. And then at the end, move on. Um, so a lot of people, I mean, I, I, I don't tell people not to do reviews because it's a good way to practice delivering, you know, presenting a, a subject, especially mm -hmm. here on YouTube, because it teaches you a lot of things like lighting, audio, uh, editing, blah, blah, blah. Um, but reviews, people still go to them. So the, the only hard part is this. It's a game of if you're not going to be like a Josh build stuff or if you're not trying to build a Lego set like on top of a mountain, um, like... <laughs> So why, why, like, it, it, you really have to figure out a way to have someone click on yours versus someone else. So then it becomes uh, who gets a first game. So it's oh, like a, now I see your point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's 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 a very hard thing to break if you want to stick out in a as a channel unless you do something else. But that's just yeah. the whole thing, anyways. I, I don't say reviews are dead. Reviews aren't dead. They're just okay. I see this same set done fifty million times. Like what? <laughs> yeah. Is this so a short thing? I think is a good way yeah. because you're straight to the point. It's quick. You're not. You're. You're not. You could be relying on a, on a personality, but it just gives you the information and you move on. So exactly what people want to see in a review is straight mm. to the point. Move on. So um, yeah, I think you could say a lot. You could even break it up in different ways. Like if you're going to do the modular, uh, here's the first floor of the yeah. blah 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 jazz club. Boom. That, that, How many? Here's the second floor of the jazz club. Blah 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 blah. Here's the third floor of the jazz club. Blah blah blah. I mean. 60 seconds is a lot of time to see a lot of information. Yeah, but, no, it is, it is. But I do, like, so these next five episodes, I'll give you a little hint of some of the topics that we talk about, which shorts. Oh, here we go. So I kind of bring up to every single one of them that a lot of people in the Lego space are doing shorts incorrectly to include myself. Yeah. Like, we give everybody everything they want to hear in that 15 to 60 seconds. Instead, you should be leading up to making them want to check out your actual long form, like giving like it's a trailer. Use it as a trailer. You're not supposed to like give oh. them the entire information. So if you if in that short review that you're making, mm -hmm. you should not show them everything. There should be like a little bit of like, oh, I want to see more of this, but also mm -hmm. have the review ready so that way they really want a more comprehensive, detailed look of that set, they know where to go because they've already seen your short. 
that's that comes straight from YouTube execs. <laughs> Dude, so. I I completely agree with that because I I and I think there's something to be said about taking a podcast and then from time to time um, chopping it up and making some short content from that. I think that's quite a nice way of doing it. Kind of kills two birds with one stone. Um, and I do think I I do use um, shorts as a way of kind of looking back at uh, a previous episode. So I try and do it within the week or something like that. And sometimes just the formatting doesn't quite work or sometimes i just want to get something out there about mm -hmm. it or something like that you know like mm -hmm. last week being in melbourne and that sort of thing and especially uh, with the new youtube links it like feature like you just mm -hmm. bring them straight to your you know you could do the have all your shorts just linked to a video your news video or you could do one that actually matches mm -hmm. to the content but yeah the that like i was just on a call with like uh some part of the youtube short like program whatever that it's called so i get to like a i get to speak to a rep so like they were really stressing on like like there were some big podcasts on that call mm -hmm. that are like hey how do you do this blah 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 and then they're like well you should be linking like how what like, the algorithm is not going to promote a two-hour mm -hmm. show or podcast because the the retention rate is going to be low that's yeah. just a given so what what are you doing to bring people in? So you're making shorter videos, you're making like 10 minute clips, or you're making shorts. So like Joe Rogan's a perfect example of that. Oh, so okay. you know all these little all these little like shorts that that are trendy that make sense. You, you do them enough, then it starts to become like what is this? And then you go to the actual show, and then you have a loyal view. But the yeah. one thing that's good about podcasts is that once you get a viewer, they they tend to be loyal. Yeah. They so. do. And, and I will say this, my, my average viewing time for people that watch back London Calling is 35 minutes. Uh, and I think that's pretty damn good, to be honest. That's very good. Yeah. And th 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 that's it's always been great. Last year, or rather the year before, uh, 2022, was 25 minutes. And then last year, it went up to sort of 33 and a half minutes. And, uh, and I just think that is a long time for someone to watch one thing for. So thank you, everybody, for that. I do appreciate that. Um, and also as well, like, I like my, my kind of formula that I like to use. And I think Instagram is very good at driving traffic uh, to YouTube um, is, is basically like tomorrow I'm going to be building the, uh, the, the London telephone box. And, and then from that, I will create some short form content from it that will go on Instagram and some of that will go on. Yeah. On YouTube as well. Uh, and mate, if I could, if I remember to do it, I'll pop it on TikTok uh so you know and sometimes i still experiment i sometimes uh i think oh shall i shall I? and i put it on there and it will do really well or sometimes i put it on there will completely bomb but that i think shorts is we're still in the experimental age at the moment with shorts there is no formula that will definitely um definitely always get you a massive following unless you have a massive following or and get and getting the views in but i do think there is um there, there is definitely a, a, a kind of a, a formula that kind of works for people to to take some long form content and drive the traffic and keep the traffic within themselves because you want to keep people watching you um and and luckily stuff like podcasts and live streams and stuff like that it's all about a lot of it is about the personalities um and and the viewership will reflect that it's, it's as simple as that it really is yeah a lot of people like to hate on shorts but i think like like the bigger creators out there, like Mr. Beast, he straight up says, "Look, you could you could simply rely on the on your long form video algorithm, or you can put yourself out there and get a percentage of people that wouldn't click your video otherwise." Yeah, it's yeah. like <laughs> it's yeah. like why it doesn't hurt at all to bring some of the thousands of people that would watch your short because that's another you know ten or twenty people out of those thousands of people that would never have clicked their video until they saw that short yeah yeah no and it's very cool and it and it is it, it's it's about uh casting your net as wide as you can and um and getting people to see you uh which is like one of the cool things about doing this stream i suppose um Drupix, um we're gonna do something shortly um called uh, uh mock the week it's a new segment <laughs> um but before before we do that uh cue guys um but before we do that uh, i need to ask you seeing as you're a star wars fan um and, and try not to trigger too many people with this please uh but what is what is your favorite star wars movie and why episode three easy oh, episode easy three. Oh, episode okay. three easy i mean oh. <clears throat> being born in 98 i was shown it the prequels than the original 
than yeah, the yeah. sequels, obviously. And so yeah. my favorite error is Clone Wars and my favorite two mm-hmm. Jedi, well, I guess Anakin and Obi-Wan. And so I think episode three, hands down, is that or the OG 2003 Clone Wars movies. Those were those were big for me. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Revenge of the Sith, good, good movie. I enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was pretty good. And I think um, the programs that have come here after mm-hmm. uh, are actually just emphasized them even more. Uh, okay. Very, very, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's a good shout. That's a good shout, my friend. Uh, certainly people like uh, Star Wars Theory and stuff like that, they absolutely adore them, that movie. Oh, yeah. Well. So, oh, uh, yeah. And he's a good lad as well. Um, now, talking about good lads, um, guys, uh, should we uh, should, should we do should, should we have a bit of the old mock the week? <laughs> I'm for it and everything. Oh, wow, look at that! No expense <laughs> there for you. No, here, wow, that's just so, guys. Oh, what would you like to do then? Would you like to share uh, something? And then, uh, uh, yeah, I just remember how to do it now. Uh, okay, here we press go. Press that. a few buttons. There we go. Google it. How do you share on the <laughs> yards? Uh, <laughs> no, no pressure, guys. Can you see my phone or something? I'm a bit like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do you remember the old days when I used to do that with the with the iPad? Uh, oh. the oh, like I mean, it was practically the size of your computer, Greg. Let's be honest. Oh, oh well, yeah. Oh, go. uh, okay. Got him right where it hurts. <laughs> okay, if I do that. Can you see that? Hey, do you want me? Can, can you add it, or would you like me to add it? Uh, okay. Oh, all right, I think uh, I'm sharing. I think you might need to add it. I don't know if it's okay. Here we go. I'll, I'll, pop it, I'll pop it in there for you. There we go. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, right. let's, let's pop so, us all. Uh, let's, see, let's see if we could do this, actually. Let's, see, let's try this. Well, this oh. is a new one, isn't it? Oh, I can't see there's anyone there. You know. <laughs> this is dope. We do that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and there we go. I'll tell you what. We'll, 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 I'll pop us all. Can I do this? There we go. Oh, that's wow. Kind of good. Yeah. Well, that's pretty let's cool. get rid of Mock the Week. It's, about, it's, it's like we're in the, the actually in the Lego set. Look at that. It's amazing. There we go. <laughs> What's this? This is the family. This is, me yes, actual, so. this is me in actual scale right here. So we're good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, Ian and Carrie, look at them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ian. They're actually going to step through the door in a minute. Yeah. Is he, is he your birthday, Ian? Uh, it's a small screen. We've got to get together. That's cute. It's nice to see. Uh, uh, see. Keep the love going, folks. Keep the love going. Right. Okay, then. Why are we looking at this then, guys? So um, we're looking at this. Um, basically, we all know that this is a set that's just come out this year. And yep. as it is, it looks absolutely wonderful, doesn't it? It's, mm. you know, it's got all the lovely features on there and lovely colors and the shaping. However, um, when we were on uh, Mockheads the other day, um, we had a guest on, Alberto, uh, Sky oh, yeah. Guy 365 um, So basically what he did, he s- saw the set, um, he really liked it, but he decided to remock it completely. So if it's going to let me do this, I don't know how I'm going to do it. So if I do this, and is that still on the screen? No. Yeah, we can. Oh, no, oh, he's I off. oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's all right, guys. Bring it up again. Bring it up again. There you go. There you go. Here we go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So this Ooh. is the this is the mock that he oh, done. Oh, look at that. So um, I like very, that. Very that's... kindly sent me some pictures as well. <laughs> so, that's um, using that's other really... pieces as well, or um, so this part here uh, is actually uh, an evolved version of his noodle shop, which he did from the noodle shop set. So he's actually cut that down. Uh, to make it just a little bit uh, stubbier, I suppose, shorter that way. And then uh, the rest of it then is actually made from the family reunion set. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and it is all modular as well. So it all comes apart. So the roof section comes off. Uh, this bit comes off there. Then you've got the next floor down here. And what he's done, um, we've got the technique for the windows, which is extends over the two floors here. Um, which is okay. an expansion of the round windows that they have on the actual set. Um, but then, so that will come off. Uh, then the next layer is there. And then finally, then you've got the bottom there, where he's obviously got it set up at the moment with a great little scene as well, which, <laughs> which I quite appreciate. Oh, that selfie <laughs> scene. Oh my it is. It's so, so cool, cool, isn't it? And um, also, I do love this headpiece as well on mm. the dragon. It's really good. Um, so, I mean, as you can see, there's elements that he's used here, you know, recognizably from the set as well, with the signpost here uh, outside, which is just a nice little touch as well. Um, but what he's done as well, down this side, you've got the flat uh, surface here. 
Um, and that does actually connect then to other modular buildings as well. So he's got like the pins in it. Um, oh, so nice. it actually connects up. Um, oh, I don't know if I've got it here. He has actually put it against the Spring Lantern Festival as well um, in the last oh, couple of days set. as well. I love and that. It, set. Love that. Oh, great it is. Set. Great set. It is. It's a really beautiful set, actually. Um, and it just looks really great next to this as well. I don't know if she was related to that one as well, actually. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we've got then this view here as well. And you can see, you know, he's got like that noodle sign as well from that one, which I think is really good. Um, but it's just like all the little details in this as well. There's all the little scenes. And I mean, like the use of the ingot pieces here as well. I mean, I think they're a great piece anyway, just for adding all the detailing. Um, and they're all the right way as well. Yeah, well, I mean, not, to be fair, to oh, that, yeah, I'm um, the same as that as well. Though it's like you've got to have the mold marks in the same yeah. place, otherwise, it's you're just... going to display it, make them all the same. Yeah, exactly. Um, when we've got then the uh, frog piece, which is here, and the gold leaf piece, which oh, was actually his yes. favorite element as well for mocking. I think he said he uses it a lot, is it? which which is uh, it's a good piece to use. I mean, you that, can use it for that. Does actually look really detailing. good. I didn't even see that. No, no. Nice. Um, I think he did say he has updated it slightly as well uh, in the last couple of days. So this is like a almost like in a bit of an exclusive as well, I suppose, in that respect. Mm. Uh, nice. Very cool, guys. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So, yeah, and you can see it's some great. It looks <clears> great. I mean, the profile. I mean, I think every angle of it as well looks really good. Um, uh, where's the line? Next one. You've got more close-ups of the street. And you can see there's actually slight rays there as the alleyway that goes mm -hmm. through. So it's all detail and, and really nice i just really really good and the colors as well i mean they just really stand out mm. uh, there you go we've got like the roof terrace nice garden heater <laughs> and and then this is the other bit I mean, and the best bit as well i've got a chameleon which i think <laughs> is a really good piece so yeah that's awesome Where, uh, i can't see it oh so yeah, yeah go, go back to the chameleon oh, let's see the chameleon could you imagine that being brick built? It'd be awful, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. really cool. Cool. oh, nice one, guys. Yeah. Wait, wait. So let's have first mock mock the week. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Okay. Like I say, uh, can't believe no one has ever used it before. But thank you, guys. Uh, so <laughs> no, no appreciate problem. that. And, and uh, uh, thanks to Alberto as well for sending the extra pictures as well because they're not. He hasn't actually published all of them yet. I think he's doing oh. his video in the next couple of days. So. And if people Sneaky. want to see more of Alberto, uh, mm -hmm. where about what was 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 his handle over? Uh, so he is uh, skyguy.365 dot three six five on Instagram. Uh, I believe it's the same on YouTube as well. Um, but he's also um, on uh, our stream the other week, uh, the other day. Sorry. So if you check out Mockheads, you got all the information and even more tips from him as well. So it's pretty good. Very nice. Uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, good stuff, my friend. Uh, that was yeah, excellent. No um, I think uh, let's see who's out there. We've got Danny Fandoms out there as well. Danny, uh, <laughs> love all your stuff on Instagram. Uh, good to see you here, my friend, and howdy to you too. Uh, Gary's still out there with all the way from Ireland. Uh, Donux uh, and L as well. Is that Northern Ireland? Uh, I modified that set for Ninjago City. <clears throat> yeah, they're talking to Ninjago City, hopefully as well. We'll find out fairly soon. Uh, what Ninjago City is all about, this new micro build that we've got as well. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll take a look at that in just a mo, uh, because it, otherwise there isn't that too much news about the moment. <laughs> um, so why don't we uh, why don't we have a look at some photos uh, next, and mm -hmm. then uh, what we can do is uh, maybe have a look at that Ninjago City, that micro build one. Uh, like I say, folks, I'm intrigued to see what uh, the threshold is going to be for that. I don't think it's going to be as bad as what people think crossing my fingers when i say that <laughs> anyway let's add this to the stream now you might recognize this particular one because alberto <laughs> actually sent me uh <laughs> the same picture today <laughs> there you go, <laughs> there we go. Uh, 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 note to self uh do do ask as uh who's gonna be <laughs> using for mock the week um but yeah we love this uh so much yeah. and uh yeah we won't go for it again but i will well, say though uh my favorite part usage in that He's definitely mm. uh, the, the, the <laughs> golden the frogs. frogs. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the frogs, man. Uh, they get everywhere. <laughs> they really do. Um, I was going to do a different set, Ooh. actually, but then after Wednesday, I was like, oh, I can't not do this one. It's just too amazing. So, it's, guys, you're doing, you're doing what the Twitchers do, milking it out. That's why I, I, I hear yeah, you. Don't worry. And, uh, <laughs> Excuse for fighting me. words. 
Uh, where's the mute button uh, for, for Matt Mike? And uh, is uh, no, I'm only kidding. Uh, this has been sent in from Andrew. Oh, what about this? Uh, Very cool. What, what about this? Shy, what do you, what do you think about this? Look at that. Oh, these are uh, from Plain Bricks, right? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So they're so those are cool. both F-18s. Uh, the blue ones, the Blue Angels, and then the le- one on the left before the Tom Count from the all the way left is uh, Maverick from Top Gun. But Plain, Br- yeah, Plain Bricks sold these. Um, so another military Lego company. I see that. that. That's the that's the American military uh, yes. logo, is it? Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that Air Force logo. It's very nice. I like that. Very cool. Uh, this plane is absolutely lovely. I love that. Uh, Blue Angels. Oh. Um, yeah, very nice. Uh, thank you for that, Andrew. I think it's in another one, actually. Uh, there it is, that one there. Um, I'm not quite sure that is. This is a World War Two. I'd say. That's, yeah, yeah the Corsair. It's World War Two. There we go. Very cool. Uh, thank you again for sending those to me, Andrew. Uh, appreciate that. This has been sent in from uh, Brick Builder Jack. What about this? It's a bit nice, isn't it? Uh, the old, uh, They're so bright and colourful, aren't they? They're just yeah. so nice. Mm. Yeah, that is kind of nice. Uh, it is lovely, actually. He sent me a, a really heartwarming story about this as well, which I won't, I won't divulge uh, mm. on the stream tonight. Um, but I will say this. Um, it's uh, it's a really, f- for him uh, and his family in general, it's like a, a, it's a, it's a really special uh, Lego set for them as well. And I know recently mm. he was down in London to see, and, and I will say this, folks, if anyone has a chance to get, get to London, uh, and let's face it, most of us are only a couple of hours away. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the actual walls they've got full of plants there, uh, the Lego plants, is really, really nice. In fact, I'll probably show those pictures off next week. Um, this is from uh, Brick Larrikin. The Brick Larrikin last week was uh, at Brick Vention in Melbourne. Um, and we, actually, I've seen quite a few people uh, talk about these uh, mosaics uh, from the lovely uh, Helena as well. Yes, that's right. Uh, we've got this one here. This is uh, now I don't, I, I, I do not know that who the mock builders are for these folks. Um, but if you watch back last week's uh, London Calling, uh, you will see their names mentioned in there. Um, but that, I mean, that's big, isn't it? I mean, that, that, that's shy. That's what you've got to be doing next, surely. If you if you want to do some sort of castle, do it. I mean, like, just do you know what I mean? It's like long and slim, and I mean, it's huge, isn't it? I mean, what, what, do, you, what do you think about this? No, yeah, that the next part of my castle is like the keep. So that's what I'm working on. Oh, the that's just going to take a while. You won't see it for a pretty long time. <laughs> that's cool. Good stuff. All right. Good stuff. We look forward to that. But yeah, this is it's cool. And if anyone does, uh, you know, like I say, if anyone wants to know who these mock builders are and stuff like that, do check do check out on Instagram. And uh, like I said, folks, we're going to have several Australians on in a, in a couple of weeks' time to be talking about marks and things, stuff like that. Uh, there we go. We've got, uh, we've got this guy here as well. And uh, is this uh, this is always Temple of Temple of Horus? This is ooh, look at this. So good. Yeah. That's really amazing. Cool. It's just missing Indiana Jones, isn't it? Surely. Uh, <laughs> I wonder what you use to, to print on those or decal. Mm-hmm. I wonder what that process is. Oh, they do. It's, yeah. really well it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Um, brick built. Really cool. Are these, wing pieces. Are these kings or sphinxes? I can't, I can't remember what they call it. I think they're pharaohs, aren't they? Pharaohs, sorry, pharaohs. You're right, yeah, pharaohs, of course. Uh, oh, just having a look on here. Uh, Drew, Drew, you might see C3PO, R2. <laughs> <laughs> no. Star Wars reference there. Yeah, nice, nice build. Oh, I like that. That's nice, isn't it? That's cool. Ooh, that's a good that's a nice little build, that. I like that. Are you mm. talking about that piece as well, uh, Alberto and yourselves mm. on that? That one there, this piece here. Yeah. Uh, highly utilized, like, like the cobblestones yeah. as well. Looks good. I think Love that. Used in his dragon, I think, as well for the legs. I think. Yeah, that, I mean that, that part gets used quite a lot. On there. <laughs> now, oh, I'm, you know, I'm not this. joking, <laughs> folks. But <laughs> you know, uh, the, you know, so, yeah. What can I say? It's uh, you wouldn't want to see that in the mirror in the morning, would you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> being, well, imagine that out. lit up at night. <laughs> no, no worries. Uh, yeah, glowing it's eyes. It's got, there, it's got the ring there and everything. Oh, it's scary, dear. isn't it? That is a bit scary. It's, very I mean, te- it's scary, but it is really nicely done. <laughs> it's like you can instantly recognise it. It's got a nice haircut. I give him that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> moving on swiftly. Uh, next one that Brick Larry can send us through. Oh, oh. like this. Now, this has mm. taken a Disney set. And turned it into the what's it called? <laughs> Solitude. 
Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, that's where the force is. I quite like that. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's where they've been. Well, I love that hairpiece. Plum, is it? <laughs> like uh, let's come out of here. There we go. So, Superman and his uh, father, KL. Uh, like that, he's got big eyes, isn't he? Blimey, like, he's got to be an old clone. Uh, <laughs> he's got the clone wars, that one. Uh, I'm a bit Superman, but yeah, that was good. I love that. Is that oh, Tintin's rocket in the background as well? That is definitely Tintin's rocket in the background, <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's... Look at that. That's really cool. <laughs> I like that. And can I just say, oh, look, we've got, we've got an A frame cabin there. Look at the trees. <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> Honestly, love the trees in the A frame cabin, even when the Lego designer came on. Uh, I had to give him a... I could, couldn't help but mention it. Uh, I will be forgiven otherwise. Um, he was a good lad, Ollie. He was there. Oh, there we mm. go. Look at this. Okay. This looks good. So this is oh, wow. a brick mention. There we go. Octavia. Octavia? That's a uh, name of a Skoda, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> there we go. Octane. Look at this. Look, no smoking. <laughs> <laughs> nice touch. Love this. The size of that minifigure there. Oh. It's tiny. <laughs> How big is that? What you, what, 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 mini fig stretching it a bit, isn't it? I think about eight foot tall. Is that is that a short person or is that just a really big mini fig? <laughs> no, it's just a big fig. It's just a big fig. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's a really big fig. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Can anyone tell me what that is? It's the winter train, isn't it? Yeah, straight in there, guys. A staff top. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is very cool. Love that. Oh, it's nice. That's water effect as well. There we go. Oh, good use of the tires. I like the tires there. Mm. Okay, very cool. Uh, what else have we got next? Oh, here we go. Got some more drag. I mean, we did see these as well. Mm. Oh, oh, a bit of Star Wars. There we go. Heck yeah. So, bit, of, bit of Star Wars. <laughs> there we go. I, I got to be honest. Can I just say this? Sometimes with Star Wars stuff, right? You've got these 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 kind of characters here. That's nice. I think that's a griffin. Uh, that's that's a chameleon, I think, isn't it? Or, or uh, anyway, something something that thinks. I don't know what. They, guess what we're we looking at here. Is that some sort of dragon lizard thing i think so i think because i think the guy who did it i can't remember his name now um because he was one of the ones that won uh the australian lego masters yes he they did. do lots of like fancy Jason creatures as well and, yeah uh, lewis i think they even built this one on it uh actually this one which is lovely but can i just say right when you look at some of the star wars stuff <laughs> that does it does look like a toad <laughs> you know what I mean? And you see it. It's like a toad sort of creeping out the reeds. Yeah. Can you see it? Am I anyone can see is that? Uh, two indie kids is out there as well. The person is logged all the way with the figures small. <laughs> um all right, next up, what we've we got next. Oh, this is oh, a good wow. one. Oh, that's cool. I like that. See, that would make a good uh, follow-up oh, set, really like I think, that. to the T-Rex uh yeah. that we've had recently. Is that bricker builds or the oh, yeah, I was about to ask. I think that's one of the Bricker Builds ones. Oh, yeah, it looks like it. What's uh, is he? Uh, I'm not sure if he's Australian, but that Holder, what's his name, or uh, Dave Holder, maybe? Is did, did he? The one that does the, they, oh, yeah, he's the one that does the helmets. Okay, right? Uh, did he he not, maybe I'm not too sure. I, I thought I thought he does like um, maybe. Pokemon stuff too, maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, I think he does Anyways. do this Pokemon. Oh, does he? Oh, that Pokemon oh, stuff's good, man. That is quite an in thing that people collect. That actually wants me, oh, yeah. makes me want to get into a bit of Pokemon. But I listen to uh, Shy, uh, and he just scares, he scares me sometimes. That's all I'm <laughs> going to say. Uh, this is one of the, this again. This oh, needs to see more limelight. This is by hmm. uh, this is the the, the chain boat uh, by Aiden Kessel. Um, guys, can you tell me what why they called it the chain boat for somebody? Why? I think it's why? just made of just chains, I think. <laughs> it's like, it's, that's what it is because, yeah, it's I mean, yeah, the actual boat itself is just made, it's all chains. Very cool. Is cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Great parts usage. What have we got going on down there? <laughs> Wouldn't want to be that teddy bear, would you? <laughs> <laughs> is that, or is that a rabbit? The same. Uh, anyway, very cool. <laughs> Very cool. I like that. I like that. They got they wear some Larry shirts out there in Australia, didn't they? <laughs> hey, anyone think he's in Hawaii or something? Uh, anyway, good stuff. Good stuff. It looks like he's having fun, and I know I would be if I was there too. Uh, this is from Chris Chalice. I don't know what this is all about. First Lego League challenge. Uh, what well mm -hmm. automation? The Lego Foundation. Yeah, first Lego League is a robotics competition. I oh, yeah. is it? Uh, okay. Yeah. okay, still sort of fun. Right. I like robot wars. They they do that sometimes at these places. Oh, there we go. Uh, Technic <laughs> uh, made cup there. It's actually really well nicely done. Actually, mm. good logo as well. I like that. 
uh, there's a collection of them there. The uh, the team coach award and the core the core values award. Um, oh, the sound of that one. That's good. Um, good pictures there, Mr. Chalice, and uh, yeah, some more robots there. That's quite a decent track. I like that. It was quite a lot of fun. I'd like to see that in real life. Uh, this has been sent in from Echo. Um, <laughs> now he's, he likes his technic stuff. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here. I mean, it just looks like someone's just. I, I don't know. It's a rover, I think, isn't it? Is it a, mm-hmm. like a, a space rover? Uh, I think it actually yeah, really does look like the real, the real thing. Mm. Um, I don't know. It's just weird, isn't it? But it, but he, yeah, he really, really enjoyed the build. He really enjoyed mm. the build on this, guys. Um, mm. I like to. I tell yeah, you, just, just something I'd like. I'd like you guys to do on your uh, on uh, mock heads. I like to get. Can you find mm. someone that does mock that mocks technic? Uh, mocks can you do technic. That? Yeah, the, the mocks. Okay, like to see that. Mm. Uh, Nobody's like crazy enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> could, you, could you imagine it? Uh, well, there we go. This is a this is a picture I took the other day when I was in uh, Trafalgar Square, uh, when I when I uh, randomly won uh, the, uh, the the Lego telephone box, uh, which is quite cool. So uh, anyway, folks, I'll be building that tomorrow, five p.m. UK time, uh, twelve noon uh, EDT time. Um, <laughs> Which is jolly exciting. Uh, yeah, can't wait to build it, really. It's kind of quite cool. Uh, this is be sent in from Nicole. This is very, very cool as well. Uh, what's this one, Drew? What, what, what are we looking at here? Is it any good? Just a Coruscant gunship, basically. Kind of, it looks like they, I don't have it myself just because <clears throat> I haven't had the time to go through my backlog to be able to get new sets, really. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it looks like the set they may have modified a few things, possibly. Um, I don't, I don't, I, the, the one thing I would ju- I just wish that this set had. I mean, I do like the color of it and everything like that. I think it's great. It's just, it's, it's just, I just don't like this. Like, what is yeah, that? it's a sphere. T- it's meant to be a sphere turret. Don't, don't like it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is nice. Though. I do like the color. There was a lot of red last year in Lego Star Wars sets for some reason or other. It just looks and, like a lot of brittle pieces to me. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. But you know the figure that comes with color. This? It's fine. It doesn't break. I've I've dropped it a bunch of times. If they change the new the new color is no. fine. Okay, good. <laughs> is it? Good. No, that's, that's good fine. to know. Well, you know, um, you know the the, the, the one of the um, uh, stormtroopers that come come in this set or clone troopers. Uh, that's a, that's going to trigger a few. Uh, <laughs> clone trooper that comes in is the one with the, the, the slightly pink on the chest. Yeah, uh, that, Fox. That's yeah. it. Well, he he comes free uh, in next month's Lego Star Wars magazine. Uh, that sucks yeah (laughs) why i don't know but anyway uh normal course on guard there's no exclusivity (laughs) exclusivity is dead (laughs) that it's a commander of foxes but i i relied on those magazines to build an army (laughs) (laughs) correct us if we're wrong um but i'm pretty sure it's uh it's going to be it's one of those uh figures from this set um well, let's hope it's just a regular course on guard. I, I think it might be just a trooper. <laughs> I yeah. think he's, a tro- yeah, he's just a trooper. He's just, just a trooper. Um, Why you gotta give me a headache or a headache? <laughs> <laughs> I just like seeing your reaction. That's all. Uh, so it's entertaining. Uh, this is incentive for big wheels. Um, uh, this is a part of that. Uh, what, what, what was that? Uh, new Harishma? Is that is that how you say it? Uh, Sh- Hashima. 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 Sorry, new Hashima. <laughs> uh this is a part and parcel of a, a new section that she's building i do like that I do like that technique yeah. very nice I, I like that a lot oh i just got the angles it's gone around uh let's get that back up again there we go and <laughs> whoop, there we go and then next up we've got that one yeah she said she's yeah i believe this is the last section um uh that she's yeah, building okay. uh for that um Oh yeah, such a waste for a magazine fig. Oh, yeah, take the I, thought, I thought you'd be collecting all of those tech. That's one of my favorite vids of you last year, collected all that stuff. Uh so what's she building there? It looks good. I like that. Uh lots of panels and stuff like that. We got their panels and uh uh two by fives, uh one by two by fives. Uh sorry folks, uh plug for tomorrow. Uh <laughs> I, think, I think by now you might have noticed Great that I'm gonna be building that tomorrow. Glad to buy. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. and you thought Shy was bad at plugging his own stuff. Jeez. Uh just uh, uh this he sent in from Redmond oh. as well. Oh, oh, cool. I want the figures. I want the Sonic figures so badly. Look at this. Look, got him there. You've got the Sonic f- figures there. Is this one Knuckles he's called? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Knuckles yeah. and Rouge the back next Knuckles. to Knuckles. Okay. Uh, Knuckles, yeah. like I say. Really good. 
That's like, okay, it's got some eyeballs on him, isn't he? Uh, I think, is that the gift we purchased, Dragon? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, yeah. 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 We've got that. Ian, yeah, does, does that even look like Lego? <laughs> like some of those guys are on uh online pick a build or pick a brick so are they you yeah, can army yeah. them up because you imagine that <laughs> I, I want to you imagine being a general though come on Joe. you're a general of an army of them you'd be embarrassed uh <laughs> kills me don't boy the dreams yeah. nightmare yeah, ones are really I, creepy. I, 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 the, 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 the black people. bodies are on there but the heads aren't oh my mm. like, god oh, there we go uh, oh, yeah, there we go. This is uh, this is Dan. Uh, he's uh, showing off his telephone. I think he's in Covent Garden here. Uh, to go Falls, if you're still out there, let us know. Uh, there we go. And uh, there's he. Oh, there he is in uh, uh, Leicester Square as well. That's good. Oh, so he's got it on mirror. Look, you can tell he's got it on mirror mode. Uh, <laughs> that's it. That's it. That, what does that spell backwards? Uh, door. Door. Uh, very cool. So it's got a lot of, guys. It's got a lot of windows Damn. in there. That's set. Just saying. Uh, anyway, cool, cool picture. I like his cap as well. Like that. Oh, well, there we go. So th there's the. Uh, has the anyone ever noticed him? Has anyone ever met uh, Dan in real life? Uh, no, the two gay no, folks. Dan, Dan is something going to be a brick tastic. So we get to meet him all there. Yeah. Okay, so has, he, has he got extraordinary long arms? Or is it, is it, is it <laughs> the angle? <laughs> I think it's the fisheye lens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, really? Because yeah. I thought he had like uh, 12 foot long arms or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but this is a. This is a oh. Lewis, is that, is the phone's ringing, Lewis. Uh, Sorry. It, it comes on the computer. I can't. Guys, oh, I actually have to. I'll take that interruption as my cue to take off. I got parental. Parental duties to take care of. So, All right, mate. Um, no worries. Thank you so much. I uh, went off a little early, but nice. <laughs> right, right, right. 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 Fingers yeah. crossed yeah. for your daughter as well. Oh, yes. she got yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, she got in. She did. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Right, and we'll go out and okay. celebrate it. See you so. next time. Thanks, Greg. Yeah. 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 Take care, dude. Take care. Bye-bye. Ah, uh, that was uh, Lewis, folks. You find him out on Instagram. Uh, check out his details down, of course, down in the description below. Uh Anyway, oh, there we are, uh, Bricktastic. They're, they're out there still, yeah. and uh, I will, uh, I will show you, I will show you my trick, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I want to see it as well. Um, <laughs> there we go. Very cool. And uh, this is uh, this was sent in from the oh, Bricketeer. Uh, oh, uh, oh I like nice. that. Um, I think he's he's, good. he's putting this in for Lego Ideas. Uh, we'll talk about it when he's on in a couple of weeks because he. Uh, the, 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 the London calling before Bricktastic, and we have a load of people on bef uh, that are going to Bricktastic and, uh, and the week after as well, um, including uh, TGA, who are going to be there. Is that, is that a Lego sticker originally kind of design? It might have been based on that, but I think it's uh, loosely based on the Titanic. Hmm. Uh, well, for sure, but I mean, like, uh, it just it, it looks familiar to me. Yeah, I think it's... Um, Oh, like an Art Deco yeah. kind of sign. Like a famous yeah. poster, maybe? Or, yeah. Okay. Could be. But yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll cool. see him in That's a few cool. weeks. Uh, we'll get him on. Uh, this was sent in uh, uh, last week as well by uh, our good friend, uh, the Ninjago man himself, uh, Titanium J. Mm -hmm. These ones. These are good. Mm -hmm. I've got that. That is, a, that, that is a good one. I like this one, Zane's Mech. Zane's Mech looks amazing. It's like a Transformer. I wish they did more Transformers. <laughs> well, more than one, anyway. Uh, I think that looks very, very cool. Oh, that's cool. And there we go. Eureka, uh, who did a, gave us a PMQ oh, yeah. a couple of weeks ago. She bought some more storage. Mm. Uh, good call. Got, oh, so man. good. Oh, my Lord. Look at all the skeletons in there. There we go. That's <laughs> it. That's it. I, I wonder if she's got a, a closet with skeletons in them as well, as well as drawers. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, looks very man. cool. Uh, never enough storage never enough it. never is never is space is a thing uh this Ooh. is part of her ninjago city as well that's part of her main city um it's so colorful which is pretty cool uh and just throwing this out there folks anyone who's just tuned in uh if you're enjoying the stream give it a thumbs up you know you want it um we've just got lights in here as well that was cool i'm liking that such a good use of those mm. um light strips as well because they're quite inexpensive you can get them pretty much anywhere um Certainly, from where I've seen them, and they're just stunning the way that they've just mm. been used. Dolphin, as well, very nice. Uh, that's very cool. And look at this, I've actually got this. This now, this is uh, a set that you might be familiar with here, Mark. Uh, the I think it's a Raya set, um, yeah, it's a Raya set, yeah. It's, um, I'm trying to think of the official name for it, but it's, it's Boons the Boat. Boons Boat. that's the one. Boons Boat. Is that what it's, it is? Yeah. yeah. 
I should say. Those Raya sets were beautiful. The um the Raya's um the big set yeah. that had those um curved those teal curved printed yeah. pieces. I wish I got a second one of those. Yeah, that's stunning. <laughs> but, uh, good, uh, I was going to say, uh, well done, TJ. Oh, look at that! It'll get. <laughs> it takes time. Uh, <laughs> every single one of them. Look at that! All learned, <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, check, check your pictures before you send them to me, folks. That's what I'm going to say about that. TJ is the captain now. Uh, he is. <laughs> yes, now. Um, that problem looks familiar. Why is it? I found a post like that. Is that? It looks like it's taken from. Um, I've got the that. shrimp chat set. I, I, yeah, I can't wait to build that. I've got that to be, I've got it still to build as well. Ah, uh, oh, there you go, mate. We'll have to do a shrimp track stream. What are we looking at here, guys? What's going on here? Um, they uh, it's just two new figures I've got, so I. Put them, um, did the picture for Tom Baker's 90th the other day. So. <laughs> I mean, he was 90, wasn't he? Yeah, uh, exactly. Oh, very cool. And these are all custom figures, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Ooh, I like that. Sonic screwdriver, yeah, nice. Got it all there. And jelly um, babies, don't forget them. <laughs> oh, yeah, you gotta have jelly yeah, babies. Yeah, the no. jelly baby tile, that's really cool. I love uh, that. Minar, well, what were these? What were these characters called? What were these called characters called? Do you remember? Minar? I, I don't think know these old ones. Star Wars one. Uh, Gaz will know. Gaz, come on, tell us. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, they're Oompa Loompas, aren't they? Are they Oompa Loompas? <laughs> Oompa Loompas. <laughs> <laughs> they've, got orange, they've got orange faces, Carrie. What are you talking about? They're uh, Oompa Loompas. Right? the green hair. No, I got carried away. <laughs> What, 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 what is it, guys? What is it? What is that? Um, so they're the, the Vok robots from uh, one of the stories. So basically, okay. they're just like servants, but they all turned a bit bad. That's why one of them's got red eyes. <laughs> it's <laughs> like an, an early form of AI. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there we go. Oh, oh, I love the police hat. <laughs> I love that police hat. That's so oh, cool. It is good. Yeah. It? What's it? Is that an official Bobby? Bobby? Yeah. Uh, is it? Yeah, it was from a uh, CMF. I've just. Uh, change him so i think it's a star wars head i've given him just because it's got the chin strap um oh nice oh, idea i'm gonna have to get a couple of those because there's a proper london police yeah, yeah no i yeah, love that really i didn't know that i i forgot that was a piece i thought yeah. it was custom that's why he's got a slightly uh, yellow neck <laughs> it's, it's not it's not thermal underwear it's actually just Oh, I see. Okay. We would have never known if you hadn't told us now. We know. <laughs> well, anyway, folks, as always, thank you for sending in your pictures. If you want to send me your pictures, send them any time at all during the week, night or day. doesn't really matter. Just email them to me. Or if you prefer, just simply DM me uh, over on Instagram. It's as easy as that. It really is. Some beautiful sets out there. Thank you so much, Brick Larrikin, for sending me an absolute oodle of them. Uh, for Brick Builder Jack as well, for sending me a very, very special picture. And some very cool stuff there, including one of the stars of this week, I will have to say, uh, being, of course, Alberto, uh, Sky Guy 365, otherwise known as. Okay, good stuff. Now, before we end uh, before we end the stream and go around the panel and ask them what they're up to, don't forget, folks, there is a survey out there at the moment. Uh, just basically asking a question uh, that I can't believe is actually this low in numbers. Uh, are, you, uh, are you or your kids? fans of Peppa Pig. 92 votes so far, so thank you for them. <laughs> Keep them coming in if you can. Uh, 33% says yes, which is kind of a, a bit more reasonable, but no, 47. A proper wink, wink, that is. Uh, and Peppa Pig, uh, Peppa Pig, or Peppa Who, I should say. It says like that could be a new character. In the, is that uh, a weird crossover, is it? It's some weird crossover. Could you imagine that, Peppa Pig? Well, you've had it in uh, in Star... In, uh, Star yeah, in uh, Marvel. Uh, why not? We have a Peppa... <laughs> You, we've had like a frog. Thaw. When was Peppa Pig in Marvel? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've we had Howard the Duck. Uh, we can have Peppa Pig. Uh, we had bacon go. sandwiches, maybe. Yeah. 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 Well, there's a perfect set for Peppa Pig. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's straight in there. There you go. The burger. There you go. Perfect, perfect accompaniment for those figures. <laughs> Especially with uh, a bit of mustard, just saying. Uh, <laughs> a bit of HP sauce. A bit of HP sauce. Yeah, very good, very good. Haven't we not really discussed the Peppa Pig sets? Are we saying that people aren't excited about them? I don't think people seem to be overly excited. Maybe it's to do with the fact that they're, they're kind of more Duplo than uh, than anything at all, I suppose. Um, but before before we... Uh, well, I, th I think it is, I think that is a bit of a thing. 
Uh, but anyway, just before we go and go around the panel, asking them what they're up to this weekend, I just want to have a look at this Ninjago, um, uh, the, the the micro Ninjago city, which is kind of uh, I don't know, right off the top of your three hundred and thirty nine pieces. He says, looking at it, and uh, <laughs> uh, and basically, I just want to know what people think about it. Do they like it? Do they think it's going to be any good? And more importantly, do they think they're actually going to get it as well? And then we'll just go around the panel and just ask them uh, what peeps are up to in the next coming week or so. But anyway, let's get over. Let's go over to Australia right now, shall we? Uh, to Jay's Brick Blog, of course, one of my favourite blogs out there, and uh, and see what see what people think about this. Uh, is anyone on the panel at this moment thinking, "Oh, I'm going to get that," or "I'm uh, slightly excited by it," or anything like that? Uh, uh, I am. I am. I'm. I'm definitely am. good. Shy. Why why are you excited about getting it? And then I'll ask you, Andrew, as well. So I'm not really a Ninjago fan, but I have every single one of those in the large form. Mm -hmm. um, I have the five mini modulars, if anyone remembers that set. It's like the mini, uh, uh, you know, Green Grocer, Cafe Corner, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. So like, I just, I just want this to put in my desk at work. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable. It's so adorable. It, I think it gets all the main parts. Um, I, I did a, yeah. I did a, 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 a poll a few weeks ago, or about two weeks ago, actually, asking what people would like me to build next. This Studgate or um, uh, the Orient Express, and this came out top. So I've got, I've got a copy of this uh, sealed that I bought yonks ago because I thought, oh, that was quite. That looks like a really nice set. I think I could like Ninjago, and I'm glad I did uh, because. Um, but I'm going to open it, and um, I'm pretty excited actually about putting it because it is modular in, in construction, so mm -hmm. that's going to be exciting. Um, it goes, uh, it goes. I've been waiting for these. Jay, do you know any more any 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 theoretical news about it at all? Uh, that's what I want to know. Um, but yeah, I, I just kind of I like this idea. This kind of for me is is, is a really nice addition to for a Ninjago collector, um, especially the fact that we're going to get four of them. Andrew, mm -hmm. uh, what, what what do you think about these ones? Oh yeah, I'll be uh, going after these for sure. The uh, I, I have like all four of them as well built, and I'm kind of working on um, like a Ninjago mock, um, building up like a area for the Temple of Air Jitsu. And I heard there's another uh, large Ninjago uh, kind of like I don't know if it's a Temple of Air Jitsu exactly, but something similar to it coming out. Hmm. So now I'm like thinking ahead, like oh, I should try to make some space so I can maybe add that in as well, which is possible because yeah. it's, it's a pretty big area I'm working in, but. Uh, I have to see it. We'll see what it looks like. But yeah, I'll be getting this for sure. Um, it is. We don't know the threshold, right? You said it might not be as high we as we don't think. know it. Yeah, I've heard that it just might not be. I mean, I'm, I'm, this is all official stuff because um, I'm pretty sure Jay in the week because he was showing it, showing the box off online. He actually went out and bought it or uh, bought it online. Um, he goes, mm. he's he's saying in his blog that it's uh, it's uh, at this stage it's unclear what the redemption mechanic will be for the micro Lego Ninjago City set. So I don't know if it'll be a gift with purchase or it'll oh. be available for Lego Insiders Rewards. That's mm. So all I will say is, folks, just I think you're going to need at least about, I don't know, a, quite, a couple of thousand. You would have to have spend $1,000 worth of Lego to be able to get it at the yeah. threshold that they would use, like 6,500 points. That's ridiculous. I hope they mm. spread them out. Yeah, dear God, could you imagine how much that's going to go for on eBay? Because, um, <laughs> uh, uh, but it is a bit niche. That's the other thing. But it's good as well. Mm. Um, he says, uh, he says in, in, in his in his blog, and I do recommend uh, Jay's blog to anybody, folks. Uh, he goes, it's been available in China. This is the weird thing. Why are we not getting these out of China? I'm going to get get in touch with uh, some people in my office in China. So since uh, <laughs> since the start of the year, uh, where you could redeem one for six thousand five hundred points, yeah, just keep telling great. yourself, folks, it's free. It's free. Oh, uh, yes. You get one point for one RMB. Uh, you spend uh, so blah blah blah. Roughly translates to about Australian one thousand three hundred seventy eight or US nine hundred thirteen, which is uh, in Jay's own words, and he's a very humble yeah, so shockingly high mm. uh get those instruction manuals out and start scanning <laughs> yes. yeah. you know what? they can't be anything too special about those parts that's a good shout that's a box i'd have to keep to be honest that's uh, my just... plan for this yeah. is yeah. to piece it together i i love it but i'll probably piece it together once the instructions are available yeah i do like it 
but anyway before the before the end of the trip i just want to have a look at that because jay's done some more pictures do check him out as well folks uh jay's brick blog he does some really cool stuff uh for my friends down in australia and he's not only a good blogger um but he's got a really cool instagram page as well now with that in mind uh let's go around the panel uh and see what everybody's up to for the next coming week or so we've kind of hit that three hour mark now um so yeah anyone else uh just tuning in even if you're like replay gang do us a favor leave us a comment uh down below there uh say hello you know what it's like uh and also while you're there do us a little favor check out everybody who's in the uh, been in the stream tonight you'll find all the details down in the description below instagrammers twitchers youtubers all of us you find all the details down there while you're there this favor gives a thumbs up as well so with that in mind andrew bricky brood you can be doing any more decorating this week if you put up some artwork or something <laughs> oh yeah like definitely that. gonna be What's putting up some shelves some art um I, I actually you know what the, i'm a little disappointed i'm sorry guys uh i hyped up this box i got earlier it's just some picture oh, frames we've got to see we've got to see it. What, oh, it's, it's, it's oh is that it you're just oh, special. Special. i thought it was something else i ordered some <laughs> custom stuff off of uh amazon just for fun because it wasn't that bad it was uh I'll, yeah i won't tell you but uh it wasn't that much, bad <laughs> that <means it's> <laughs> Uh, I was like, no, I was like, 20, the one was like 35, the other one was like 20 bucks. And some mm -hmm. one can go on the wall, one can go all safe and go on the door. Whatever, whatever that can be. Right. Like now, now, when we see you next, are you going to be back in your Lego room or are you going to be? Uh, uh, I, I hope so. I uh, I really hope so. I, I don't, I think I have everything I need um, to uh, put everything on the walls. And then, so once everything's on the walls, then I could put the CD back, the CD back up against the walls. <laughs> and uh, that'll be a task and it's and it's now but uh yeah um hopefully next friday i'll be back in the room but uh we'll see this is actually pretty comfortable i'm not minding it to be honest with you i'm just trying to lay back it, it kind of yeah, looks I, weird when i lay back I you know. do look kind of at home there i will say yeah, that i mean like that's, that's just another lego room isn't it it's, it's like you yeah, just, yeah. Just oops there you go. Uh, <laughs> you stay comfortable then don't squash yourself uh no, there we go it looks good I, just I do an al bundy here just like yeah, all right. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, anyway, uh, married stuff, children, Andrew. come on. Uh, okay, I, yeah, I know you do. This is, this all is right. thing. it's got half the population of Canada when he's there. No, it's a show. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> he always goes shy when we go there. Uh, all right. No, no. Oh, jeez. Uh, all right. All right. Don't, worry. Do yeah. <laughs> don't, and, Sorry. And don't put your back out as well. And read the label as well. I'm sure it should say emulsion. Oh. Uh, on it. You know what? Before, if, while I have you guys' attention here, I, yeah, I, uh, I built this. Check this guy out. Oh, he comes free on a magazine this month for Marvel, believe it or not. Uh, this Doc one Hock. in particular? Yeah, a copy bit. You've got to be careful how you, how you, how you pronounce Doc Ock. Uh, just saying. <laughs> uh, if you read it, folks, you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, was it a good set? Was it okay? I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It'll it be uh, fun. Is, is this a, uh, I don't know what year it is. It's an older set. Um, I mean, uh, Matt probably oh, knows yeah. what year it came from. Oh, yeah, Matt. I do, I do not. I do not. Oh, here, I got the box here. Oh, that is old. Oh, that, that is an older one. Yeah. I wish they'd do more stuff from the uh, from the comics, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to see this. The, the DC stuff, somewhere. the superheroes DC stuff is very good. But I, I picked this up in Paris, Ontario, at a uh, one of the uh, sales that um, oh, really? do you know. Do you know Brad, the Lego guy, BTLG? Um, Brad yeah, the Lego yeah. guy. No, I yeah. don't know a Lego guy called Brad though. But he's not Brad the Lego guy. No, Is Brad, he Brad the Lego guy. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, he's okay. awesome. And uh, he's, anyways, uh, he he puts on a sale on his front lawn with a bunch of different sellers from around the area, and uh, you get some good deals. So I, it said fifty dollars on here. I'm sure I didn't spend fifty dollars on it. I'm sure I got a bit of a deal. <laughs> yeah, wow. we all say that in our minds when we got a Lego. Don't worry, it's so many hours. A while ago, you know, it's things happen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, TJ's up. Uh, he's got to go. He's got to go have dinner. Is it dinner? It's, it's, it's an early dinner, isn't it? Uh, anyway, take care, TJ. Uh, good to see you, my friend. And uh, I built these two as well. Oh my god! Like, they don't stop. He's, he's in. Blimey, what's that on the? In the Those are okay. cool. Well, Micro so, Castle and a. So we got a <laughs> uh, player. That looks bigger no, like online. Just saying. Nice little Walkman. Got a cassette. 
Oh, the yeah. cassette. Oh, it's like sound it's wave. Transformers <laughs> sham wave. Yeah, I was just going to say. I don't know why it's a sham wave. I said it like this. Right. Kissing sisters. Kissing sisters. Saying it like Sean Connery. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, Miss Moneypenny. Uh, can you put my... Uh, oh, shop, 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 shop. Uh, anyway, what, I, don't, I don't know what we're saying here. But anyway, that, what do you think of it? Can you put it on your... Can you actually really put it on your head? No, maybe my cat. If I got my cat here, I could put it on her. Head. <laughs> but, uh, that no, would no, not go it's, down well. It's got to go foot loose. <laughs> got to put foot loose on it. Just saying. And I got one more thing, not as not as cool, maybe, but just I haven't built it yet. It was the uh, gift of purchase oh, wow. with the uh, Avengers Tower. What's well, a flex? It's yeah. a flex because yeah. if you got that, you know, you know what else you got. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's what I mean. the, the parts are almost here. I'm still waiting on parts from December third that I ordered from um, really? Lego and uh, from Denmark, I guess. And uh, they finally just shipped a couple like a couple days ago. But once I have those parts, I'll be able to build. I got the base for Avengers Tower. I'm going to be oh, doing oh, nice. uh, doing regard nice. yeah. yeah. Very nice. So I'm, I'm really excited okay, about cool. that. And uh, then I'll, I'll be able to get back into my Ninjago build. So I, I'm just, I, that's kind of one of the reasons why I was doing the um, re painting the room because I have a few mm. projects that I'm waiting on parts for. And I just so. thought you'd redecorate the room. That's all right. You know, uh, I, I definitely bit off a little bit more than I could chew with it. I didn't expect it to take this long and like one thing after another it's been, but uh, it's all good. That's what decorating's like, mate. Uh, anyway, good on you for doing it. Anyway, good stuff. Uh, all right. They're, they're, they're talking of Avengers and stuff like that. Our, our own little Avenger, uh, Minar. <laughs> uh, I've never been called that before. <laughs> <laughs> Minar, if you, if you was an Avenger, which one would you be and why? I'm, I'm curious now. Uh, Based on what my actual ability or my my what i would like to be because i tell yeah. you now if it's based on what i am right now i would be a rubbish avenger yeah. it was captain wrecked or something like that <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah right, anyway minark are you going to be are you going to be doing that uh the, are you going to be doing a bit of twitching a bit, a bit yeah, of the old so on sunday, sunday sunday twitch as as uh always uh 2 p.m 2 p.m so um i'll be doing that i'm also i'm doing my Continuing my Bricktastic mock, and over the next couple of weeks, um, I'm on streams. I'm on, you know, um, quite a few streams over the next couple of weeks, um, oh, including uh, Gaz and Ollie's stream. So I am, yeah, quite oh, yeah, a few. You're going to be on that. You're going to be on that in two weeks' time, aren't you? Mm -hmm. On the seventh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the then I've got the Friends February. stream with you coming up. Yeah, um, on the tenth. On the tenth. Yeah. Start on the 10th of feb so lots and lots of things going oh, around he's, and he's putting it about yeah. a bit mark isn't he's he's it? Himself <laughs> about. that's all i'm gonna say but twitch on sunday 2 p.m that's where you twitch, can twitch interact sunday. with just me <laughs> that's it yeah and, and what, what's the set you're building on sunday again my friend oh i i don't know what it is going to be yet oh. i haven't decided it's it been last week, I... for the last four streams that's what it'll be excuse and, uh... me actually <laughs> yeah over to Mr. you stretch it out over four <laughs> streams no i build in one stream they're building one stream. <laughs> one yeah, stream. But, yeah, but there are people things, who can testify. Many things in proxies don't count, Mark. You know it. Uh, <laughs> Listen, you would stretch a CMF tomorrow. build into two streams, Greg. Me, I can <laughs> build in one. Uh, there we go. Oh, look at that. I'm going to build that in one tomorrow, I tell you. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, on, on, yeah. on that on that friendly little uh, Twitch <laughs> YouTube duel, uh, let's, 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 let's go to duel. I have duel. nothing against uh, YouTube. I'm on YouTube right <laughs> now. Like, there is YouTube and Twitch love. You're the one that has the thing of Twitch. I ain't got a like... problem with it. I ain't got a problem. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, someone, someone, someone's been on for the first time today. Uh, no, don't scare him. Uh, he's, of course, Drew Britt. And yeah. uh, Drew, it's been good to have you here. Uh, yeah, thank you for having me. It's been an honor. It's been fun. It's, Dude, it's been it's been really good fun, and I'm looking forward to certainly coming on your channel as well. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely. Are you going to be doing anything this weekend? You going to be uh, hanging out with the with the, with the crew? At good morning, Brick World. Yeah, this uh, this Sunday, Good Morning Brick World, and on Wednesday, Bricking with the Beard. Um, still working more on the Minecraft World series that'll hopefully cover up <laughs> this seven plus foot table. And currently, I've been doing another seven foot. Mock. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. What's this? Um, what's I don't know. This? I, it goes with the so oh. that new set that came out with like that speed chase, whatever. But I decided I'm like I'm gonna make it bigger. Whoops, this way. Hopefully this doesn't fall. I have a whole thing from that set, kind of thing. So oh yeah, that, that, looks, that looks awesome. Thank it's you. Really good. Oh, That's really good, man. Uh, and like I said, I I really want you to take some pictures when you go to your um. Yeah. 
you know, first convention and stuff like that. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, this is good. Oh, just just with there we go. Oh, that's quite good. I like that. Uh, yeah, d- definitely, my friend. Uh, now, Mr. Mellish, uh, the Matt. Uh, the, the, the the Mellish Matt. I like that, Mellish. I've never known anyone else called Mellish before. Uh, so they, where, where does that name come from? Do you know? It's very German. Very, very it's German. German. Uh, he's yeah. German. Okay. Oh, that's why. What did I say at the beginning of the stream, folks? And say if they, if, if we, Americans will always stick in America. If they don't, they go for Germany for some reason. And uh, now, now I know why. Uh, Matt is Mellish. Uh, anyway, Matt, my good friend, uh, are, you, are you up to anything? Uh, are you up to anything this weekend? Always. Um, tomorrow, Saturday at three yeah. p.m. Eastern time, I will be continuing working on the uh, oh. Monkey Kid Megapolis City. This is oh, what I have kind of oh, oh, continuing. Continuing. Kid, continuing. Yeah. It's a Twitcher. Twitcher. Continuing. Uh, yeah. All right. No, it is, it is lovely. Oh, plan is big. It's bigger than I thought. So it's, it's fully cool. modular. So this all comes apart. I have to kind of be careful with it. Um, all yeah. the different buildings come off, and this kind of fills up here with a Ferris wheel and such. But this comes off just very easily. And uh, this is kind of the, the outline, the base for it. So we've been working on this for the past couple of weeks. But to be fair, Greg, I also did a gunship mega stream for like 19 hours before christmas so <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm I'm making it. It. it was it was um it was it was actually really entertaining uh firstly because i thought like wow he he's been streaming for a long time and you i could see it in your mind you was calculating uh where you was at and you was like every little positive that you could come up with you was taking on to <laughs> by the time you came in i was pretty well gone i'll be honest with you um but you were I, on the ropes, man. You were on the ropes, but I, I think you pulled yourself off them pretty well. It was a fun one. It was definitely very, very exciting. I had the most viewers there that I've ever had, so that was that was great. And um, so I'm working on this tomorrow, and then I haven't really been posting a lot on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, just because I've been working on some stuff in the back that I can't show yet. But some very exciting stuff coming very, very soon. So always, yeah. always things happening, even if I'm not posting. Yeah, no, of course, there is a lot of stuff that goes on in the background. I've, I've, I've had a real issue in the cabin for the last few weeks that I'm dealing with at the moment, uh, and I'm, I'm kind of, I'm winning the battle with that. But it is, a, it is a thing. There's a lot of stuff that always goes on in the background that, um, you know, you just don't always kind of, uh, you just don't post or something like that. But anyway, um, anyway, good, good to have you on, Matt. As always, it's good fun. Good to be. Here. Um, good, good luck with that, and. Um, yeah uh shy time is my time now shy you've done the hard work you've been out you've been to austin uh you've 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 been around uh, everybody's houses uh, assessed uh what sort of uh what, what sort of place they got and stuff like that and been in there and and uh kind of interviewed them as such you call it interviewing or talking when, when you do it shy what, what, what is it what what do you call it is it is it an interview? Is it a chat? Is it a discussion? What, what it's a conversation. It? It's a little, how I treat it. It is, yeah. It always feels that way. Uh, it really does. Um, but anyway, are you um, now you've done all this footage? You've got these like mega, uh, mega bits worth of, uh, of footage and stuff like that. Are you going to be putting it all together soon? When, when are we going to start seeing the, the fruits of your labor? So you'll see. And so these episodes or these six episodes are supposed to last till June till brick mm-hmm. world so i do have two other people i'm probably going to record in between the austinites that you'll probably see but you'll you'll get a new episode every so often so the next one should be done by the end of tonight so it'll be posted by tomorrow so that's the one with gene so we've been kind of pushing uh, that one done. so um yeah. that, that's the next one after that you're just gonna have to wait and see yeah no that's cool man i'm, I'm looking forward to it i'm really enjoying the podcast really Thank high you. quality stuff um yeah keep it up Keep it up, man. It's really good. It's really, it's really nice. It feels very natural, and you're awesome, man. You really are. Um, now, someone else is is rather awesome. Um, uh, is of course Gas. Uh, Gas, oh. you gonna be yeah. you gonna be you gonna be up to much in the uh, in the coming week or so? Uh, I will be streaming tomorrow with yourself. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, other than that, um, I'm just doing some Britasticy stuff. So I'm just getting stuff sorted for uh yeah for um, what i'm gonna take well, i mean i know pretty much what i'm gonna take but uh, it's never enough so i've got to just do more 
Okay, yeah. good stuff. Well, That's we, my can plan. Do, we, we can <laughs> chat about that <laughs> tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Straight off this street, we're going to put the, the put in tomorrow's one up live. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, good good to have you here as always, guys. Um, mm -hmm. It's always a pleasure. Yeah. Um, folks, I'm going to close the survey off in just a tick. Uh, so do get your votes in. Uh, especially if you've just turned up, uh, it's no longer good to see you as well. And Sky Guy 365, he's featured quite a lot in the streams this week. I've been watching, <laughs> including my own. Um, anyway, yeah. Carrie and Ian, you've been doing a bit of building tonight. Have you, uh, did you, did you manage to finish it? I have literally just finished it, as you were saying, God. having finished it. So, yeah, oh, it's massive, oh, actually. It is. It's, it's really it's, nice. It's, 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 it's what she said. And, uh, um, <laughs> the, the little the, oh. bench has a lot snowballed back to it, which I think is quite cute. Oh, that's a good idea. And then the mm -hmm. uh, hot chocolates have got like cream on the top, which is obviously way better. But yeah, it's it's, it's good. It's really good. I like the trees. Very nice. All right. Good stuff. Uh, and Ian, uh, what was you allowed to construct tonight? Oh, well, mine, I'd already shown. Was yeah, he finished his. At, um, yeah, mine was much, oh, much quicker. Okay. All right. Uh, how far through the, um, the Doritos did you two get? No, they're on the floor waiting for after the stream. We're oh. good and, and not getting our food on the, the Lego. Okay. <laughs> waiting for the fairies. Okay, fair enough. And uh, Pepsi Max, how much Pepsi Max did you have left, Ian? Oh, that, yeah, that's all gone. That's it. Oh, it's all gone as well. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> There we go, straight in there. There we go. They're going to be full of uh, energy tonight. They will be good stuff. Uh, good to have you here, guys. Uh, as always, uh, let's uh, let's just check out the survey, shall we? Uh, let's uh, end the poll. Um, the question being, um, uh, if I go to the bottom of it, where we are, the question being, are you or your kids uh, happen to be fans of Peppa Pig? No, wink, wink. Uh, Forty-seven. Uh, yes, oink. <laughs> Uh, 32 percent pepperoo, uh, oink, 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 20 percent. Uh, oh, there we go, this pepper pig, and uh, this uh, let's have a look. She wanted to tell you not to um, forget to come to the brick Rod stream on Sunday at 8 30. <laughs> oh, there we go, <laughs> Ian. Well, Ian had his chance. There we go, 8 30. And what, what are you going to be building this week then? Well, we're continuing on with Andrea's uh, modern mansion. We're okay. also going to go to the Lego store tomorrow for a make and take. So I'm guessing all of the UK Lego stores will have a make and take. Oh, it's right a then. Disney Wish one, if anyone cares. So Is it? Our okay. kids are very excited about that one. Make and take. It sounds like you're going to loot the place, that does. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, the, it's free Lego. Know, yeah, it is free, it is free Lego, I suppose. No, very good. I'm glad <laughs> you can get it. Okay, folks, well, what I'm going to be doing tomorrow... Very simply, comes down to this. It's like uh, it's like the the perfect set for London calling. This is. Uh, I'm going to be building this. I managed to grab one this week uh, in very strange circumstances as well from Trafalgar Square, yeah. and um, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be doing a pre sort of it before the stream, and hopefully tomorrow in one foul stream, I'll be able to build the whole thing. Who knows? Uh, I was pretty quick when I did the uh, the modular guys, so I, I think yeah, uh, I think you got to think quite quickly in the end. I think there is a good probability that we will. But anyway, on that note, folks, so uh, thank you everybody who uh, entered the survey tonight. Thank you everybody who's going to be watching this back as well. Replay gang, love you guys. Uh, honestly, and and the stream over the next few days will expand in size. So I always appreciate that. And if you are watching it on replay, do us a favor. Check out everybody who's in the uh, uh, in the panel tonight. Give us a thumbs up. And leave us a comment as well. No one leaves comments on live streams, Shy. Uh, I, I really wish they did. Uh, I really wish they did. Um, but anyway, it's always nice when people do leave a comment. It's nice to connect. Uh, a bit like connecting Lego, really. Uh, anyway, thank you, Brick Bods, for being on. Mini Fig Who, Shy Time is My Time, Matt Mellish, uh, Drew Bricks. Drew, it'd be great to have you on again uh, sometime soon. Yes, please. thank you again for having me on. You're most welcome, my friend. It was great to see you. And you'll see more of Drew this weekend on Good Morning Brick World, folks. Uh, kicks off at 3 p.m., I think, UK time. Uh, 10 a.m. Uh, EDT time. Uh, Minark, uh, thank you for being here as well. Uh, we had uh, Sal Salad Bricks on earlier on as well, Lewis. And, of course, uh, Andrew, uh, who's uh, he's, he's probably just had his internet cut off now because uh, he's getting his upgrade uh, today, which is very, very cool. Um, and we'll see him again next week, most likely, with an update on all his decorating because it's easier said than done. It really is, folks. Anyway, uh, thank you for everybody who's tuned in tonight. The likes of um, a mega man, uh, Chris Chalice, Lady McBrick, Salicscape, Liz, 
Lovely to see you. I'm going to be on a podcast in the coming weeks. I really will be. I'm looking forward to that. Old and off, delicious foods. Uh, Lego Team B, Death Ray, Brick Larrikin, and of course, Nelena, to name but a few. And if you take away one thing from this stream and one thing only, just remember this that Lego, Lego is a wonderful thing. And you guys take care, and I'll see you tomorrow at 5 p.m. UK time, midday EDT. Have a good one. I'll see Bye. you soon. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.